Hello, welcome to tonight's live sizing and styling guide. If you're catching this part, you're probably catching the replay. Make sure to comment hashtag replay. Let us know that you were here and that you saw this. We love to know who's here with us, even if it is the replay. My cameras are really crooked. Hey. Hello, welcome. Happy Wednesday. Let me turn my, there, on the app. I'm like, I wasn't seeing comments. There's all these haze. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I hope you're all well. Enjoying the snow day if you are in some <laughs> of the northern states. You're my eyes. Mm -hmm. We actually got snow. The kids were like, you didn't snow in December, but it snowed now. <laughs> And then Reese, my little Reese, I mean, she's seven, but she's a little confused about holidays versus seasons. And so she's like, is it Christmas again? And I'm like, no, <laughs> it didn't snow for Christmas, but it's winter still. So, <laughs> no, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> but I was like, we got to get this figured out. I do remember it was a couple of years ago when Blake was still in that didn't understand seasons versus holidays and his birthday is the day after Christmas and I remember him you telling me that he came down the stairs really excited thinking it was Christmas yes. and his birthday. And he was very mad mm -hmm. to find out that that was not the case right I'm like snow does not indicate that it is Christmas morning but that's a nice thought that was a few, you're right that was a few years ago I forgot he did that he hadn't quite figured it out we have well, it depends where you are. I think in Bay City, what, like four inches here? Maybe three. three maybe four. just heavy because it snowed, then rain, then snowed. So it's that heavy. But where I live, it never switched to rain. It stayed snowing the whole time. Oh, did it? Like, Is yeah. that? I think that's why we have so much more. We're like the six to eight inch mark. Yeah, so here it's it was so it was heavy this morning. It was like perfect snowball snow though. You dug down a little bit. So the kids were out, I think, out playing. Well, I mean, we left home by 9:30. They were out at like eight o'clock with the neighbor kids <laughs> outside. So it's fun though. Fun for them. Hello, everybody. <laughs> yeah, you haven't snow in three years in North Carolina. I'm <laughs> I mean, this morning, I was like, oh, I hate this. I enjoyed that we had snow on, in October, but it wasn't like, on, on Halloween it snowed, but it wasn't like shoveling snow. It was, you know, it melted as it, it was hitting the ground. Ooh, rain and flooding in Philadelphia. You guys should be getting snow too in Pennsylvania. Yeah. It's, but it's doing this weird temperature change thing where it, it's like warming up and then it's cold again. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, welcome to tonight's live. I am just getting this shared all about real quick. So if you guys share for us, now is a great time to do that. We appreciate when you do share. Help spread this around to new people who maybe haven't seen one of our lives before. Don't, don't know that we even exist. So um, thank you, you guys. Isn't this such a pretty color? It's like orchid. I'm here. I'm going to come up with colors. We'll see what else I can come up with. All right. You figure it out. <laughs> I like the I like the color orchid though. I feel like that's a good name for this one. It's pretty. Yeah, I agree. Thank you. I'll give you orchid. Orchid. I'll agree with it. Oh, hello, hello. Um, what else is I doing? Just sharing. That's just all I'm doing right now. All right. All shared. I do believe. I'll share it up. I'll share it. That went well. Easy. Okay. No issues. All right, you guys. Well, welcome to tonight's live sizing and styling guide. Our second live of 2024. Hard to believe. And if you thought that 2024 was going to be the year we were on time, <laughs> we'll try again. I was year. certain. I was like, I'm going to be back there, like, fix my makeup, whatever, at 820. And, oh, no. 
Um, but here we are. We made it. So if you're new, thanks for joining us. This is a live sizing and styling guide, and we are going to go over the fits fabrics and all the details of the new goodies that are releasing tonight. They will be available for purchase immediately following the live on our app and on our website. I'm just going to plug my phone in real quick. Forgot that that's dying. Um, where there you can do your shopping. So app or website, you guys can shop right after the live. So no need to claim throughout this. Sit back, relax, take notes of your favorite items, which you want to be sure to snatch up afterwards. And you should be able to find them all in the new this week or featured collections new this week. Um, I hope. I know last week there was still a little bit of a struggle on the app with it delaying updating, but I made some adjustments and it looked like maybe IT had figured something out at some point that sped it along. So we shall see. I'm crossing my fingers. I don't really know what's fixed until we launch new product. So cross my fingers that it works right today. If you struggle on the app to find the new items, that's why it's a good idea to take note of the names of them. Um, or you can always hop on the website to find the names if you need to and search them on the app. They are available on the app. They just aren't sorting as quick as they should. It should be an immediate as soon as the live ends. They're there in the correct categories. That's where we've been struggling. Not with them having launched and available, but just being in the right category at the right time. So um, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> but <laughs> I am Rachel and I am a size eight and I'm shown in a small top in medium bottoms or 728 Judy Blues. If you guys have questions on sizing at all please let us know um you can comment here uh, in the feeds and christine will respond to you there if we miss anything or if you have any additional questions please just let us know you can always send us a text message or a pm to our business page and we will help you there uh, if we miss something or if there's something you'd rather ask us privately you certainly can um text is a great way to get a hold of us the quickest i would say um and yeah I think that's all. Do I, did I miss anything? Not that I can think of, but I wasn't listening very well. <laughs> that's okay. I know you're reading too. <laughs> so we have a great lineup of uh, brand new goodies for you guys tonight that we are super excited to launch. And uh, I was like looking and I'm like, you know what? Spring is coming. We're seeing more bright colors and springy items. And so that makes me happy. It's so funny that like I thought that yesterday when I was looking at what we had in the lineup and then we got pounded with all this snow and I'm like, oh, spring is coming. I kept thinking it wasn't going to happen. We made it all the way to January with not. I know I it's crazy. We were... Now that means we're going to have snow till April, oh gosh, May. <laughs> we'll be at baseball tournaments in the snow. It's happened before. So Yes, I wouldn't be surprised. But Snowed on opening day for the Tigers. That's right. All right, you guys. So I think we can go ahead and get started. Christine, we'll put the names and does, um, of these items and what sizes are available in the comments. So you can follow along there, especially if you turn your volume off. Um, but make sure to follow along. And I will read them out loud as well. I feel like I'm forgetting to say something. Like one of my... The app won't let you send comments. That's odd because we're getting comments there. I wonder yeah. if it's something in a setting that you have, or if you have it, comments turned off, maybe. You might have comments turned off. There is a way to turn them off on your own device so that you don't see them. I don't know if you're seeing them, but okay. Well, first up, let's get started. Um, I am in the Mixed Emotions Patched Pullover Sweatshirt, and this is available in sizes small through 3X, and I love this one for this time of year when you want that pop of color, uh, but then it will transition into spring. Transition into spring, here we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, so, wow, well, this is so fun. I love these patch details that you get on the sleeve. So the sweatshirt continues all the way, and these are just like over-the-top patches that are stitched on. Uh, so there isn't like different materials that you can feel underneath. It is all one pullover that then has the fun added mixed prints. And I love that they are not identical. So this one has two patches. This one has the three, um, and it's just a fun detail. So they wrap all the way around the sleeve and then are nowhere else. So it's a really like simple idea, but with those cute fun pops of color, I think you can accessorize really well with these, pulling out whatever color in here that you would like. I kind of pulled out the peach, um, just doing a simple tone for like the peachy color that we have here with one of our earrings. Um, but you can pull out whatever you want from that. So that's a fun way um, to dial this up. So I am shown in the small. Again, I'm a size eight and I'm five seven for reference. I'm shown in the small and this is a relaxed and roomy fit. Not way oversized, but definitely roomy. Uh, if you're in between sizes, I'd say you can size down. 
Um, but little side slits and then a slight high-low hemline on this. Not crazy, different front to back, but just a little bit of a high-low hem. Um, so with this one too, if you wanted to do a little front tuck on it, you certainly could. That's a great way we talk about if you have a shorter uh, torso or if you're just on the shorter side and you feel like some of these tops get pretty long, um, you can tuck it in and that just gives it a little bit of a different look, but leave the back out. It's just adorable. I love it. Um, I think that they're a right or the same on all the shirts, Tammy. Well, Christine's going to grab hers so that we can see if it's the same, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same prints in the same placement. Yeah. They're yeah. yeah. Identical yeah. placement of prints on all of them. So there's no diff difference between them. So hers are exactly the same. Um, and then I have this paired with the Judy Blue Rigid Magic destroyed. Magic destroyed. Straight leg jeans. Straight leg jeans. That's a mouthful. Um, these are really cool. They are, we've shown them before, and I love them too. We were just actually talking about them today because they're going to be a really good one. Uh, if you live in warmer temps or come spring, you, I'm going to pair these with some boots so you guys can see it styled that way as well. But they are a really cute one with just a flat shoe, a sneaker. Um, pairing them with a flip-flop is going to be really cute. But these are fantastic where they're slightly relaxed. They aren't as roomy as a boyfriend fit, but they're kind of in between that boyfriend and girlfriend. So it's a little bit more relaxed um, throughout, but they aren't as baggy. You aren't going to notice as much bagginess as you do in a boyfriend. And the fun thing about this rigid magic is that the front portion of these jeans is 100% cotton, your traditional denim, but the entire back is the Judy Blue denim that we love that has the stretch. So it's this great combo that you get where you get that traditional denim feel and look. Um, not that Judy Blues don't look like a traditional denim, but they have a different little bit of a different feel. I mean, if you know what I mean, like they, the way that they stretch. So this is a traditional denim on the front and then the back is a Judy Blue, but there is no difference in how they look. I guess that's what I should say. They look the same. You can't tell a difference from front to back on them. But here we have the stretch that we are used to with Judy Blue, but in the front, you don't have the stretch. So you get that mix of both worlds, which I love. These really actually remind me a lot of the ampersand girlfriend jeans the look oh, you know yeah. the look and the feel of them so I think that you guys are really going to love these um and that rigid magic is the fact that it has both so they are super cool rigid front stretch back is what the little tag says they're just fantastic I love them uh they're on the 11 inch rise so they are, do hit a little higher more on the natural waistline and then a 29 inch inseam which is nice like for me, it's a slightly cropped length, you know, just above my ankle. But for some of you shorter gals, that 29 inch inseam is going to be perfect for a full length denim. So we love these. I'm going to go Isn't change. The pair that people are calling Pink. magic, right? Yes. Rigid magic. Yeah. Rigid, Rigid magic. magic jeans. Rigid magic. They are magical. They smooth the front, they, they lift say the back. Rigid magic. Smooth the front, lift the back. Yes. That is their magic. Mm -hmm. We don't know how Yeah, to do they it. do. I mean, I think magic. that because it, ha it doesn't have that stretch to it, that 100% cotton that doesn't have a lot of stretch does just kind of smooth it. These aren't considered like tummy control. They don't have that tummy control patch in them. But having that rigid denim in the front definitely makes a difference in that area. So love them. And then I just threw on, um, which one is this, Christine? The... Is that the jazzy? No. This one can't remember the name. I'll find it. No, not on that site. I won't. It's not Jazzy. Is it? I don't know. Jazzy no. Canvas? That's no. That's what I thought it was, but you're making me second guess myself. <laughs> I'm Can't remember. I'm Christine will tell you. But I just love this because it's a great neutral, but it has that fun animal print with the metallic, like rose gold. Um, so they're a really fun one that you can pair with just about anything when you're doing a little bit more of a casual style. Uh, but they're so neutral in colorway, leopard prints neutral, but then that rose gold is a really good, good neutral print. It'd be nice if the name was inside though. I know. Because it looks like the safari, but that it is not. No. Did you look up Jazzy? I'm, no. <laughs> she trusted me. Oh my gosh, it is. It's the Jazzy canvas. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is, you guys. <laughs> I know never to doubt myself when it comes to our shoe names. Okay, so those are the Jazzy and canvas, and they run very true to Ugh. size. 
I'm an eight and a half, and that's the size I wear in those. Ugh. I'm sorry. Ugh. Don't sound so disgusted. Ugh. <laughs> What a letdown. Goodness. Ugh. I'm just, I, you know what, you guys? I'm just going to start naming things and, like, telling her whatever I want it to be. <laughs> and she wouldn't know. No, she wouldn't. No, she wouldn't. Till the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Till people start inquiring. What was yeah. that? Yeah. Look up the name of this. It's a knee and eye boot, but you showed me a slip on tennis shoe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. Weird that that would happen. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let's get this show on the road. I'm coming back. Thought about not since Christine wants to be nasty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, next up, you guys, is a standing still knit top in gray, available in sizes small through 3X. This was previously released in black with, like, a camel color and white or another color. Maybe it was gray camel black. Um, but this top is so cute and it's so easy. It's a, a medium to lighter weight knit. Uh, it's non-sheer, but it's a really great feel. It's still in ray. So again, I always like to tell you guys that because there's a certain standard of quality um, with Doe and Ray that it's just superb always. And this one is just fantastic. So it's a cute, easy throw on top. Love the mix of colors that you get here. And again, that little bit of a lighter weight. You can easily layer this if you want to or just wear, wear it by itself like this. Um, it'd be cute with a little vest or a jacket. So I'm still wearing the Rigid Magic, but I threw a little cuff in them because for me with this particular shoe, the Gaston, um, it's a little bit of a uh, odd length because of my height. So it doesn't like cover the top. It just it brushes them odd. So I liked putting the little cuff in them to crop them up a wee bit to make them kind of more of a crop length. And I just feel like that jives a little better with the shoe choice but the gaston one of my favorites look at her showing off that she knows the name well, i have them <laughs> myself so it's easy to remember then um but yeah so this top again i'm shown in my true size small now definitely a relaxed fit um there is some stretch or get like there's stretch to it but also some give so I would say in this one especially if you're in between sizes you can stay with the smaller size if you want it to be more fitted then you could size down one uh, because of the roominess and just a reminder don't forget that we do take measurements of all of these items so you can find that on the website and on the app um if you want to compare what's the difference of a small to a medium or a medium to a larger that large to one x which sometimes we see a greater gap there you can compare them there to see like oh two inch difference not that big of a deal a six inch difference big deal um so just remember that you can check those because we do measure the everything here in house so it's actually done here we know that they they are the actual measurements you know and it's not just a generic measurement not a made up not made up, not made up, but also just not generic because sometimes we do with brands, we'll see just generic measurement charts and then you get different items and you're like, well, that's not really the case. Um, so anyways, relaxed fit on this one. And this is a knit. So it's almost like a sweater knit. It's not a jersey knit. It's a little bit more of a sweater material fabric content 97 percent polyester three percent spandex all three of the materials are the same fabric content so you don't have a mix of different uh textures and types they're all the same just the different colors so this is a really cute one love the little v-neck and the little collar detail it's just simple and easy throw on and go cute to wear out and loose if that's how you prefer or again with this one it's fun to do a little front tuck with too to kind of give it a little bit more shape and style it and then yes I love the Gaston with these um and I just threw on one of our little taupe um I don't know if those are basket weave woven they're all on the site today no new earrings today launching so you can find all of these already there but here's the Gaston up close just so you guys can see it I know we are sold out of some sizes in these they're fantastic. We have the Gaston and Ivory as well, which is my favorite shoe. Um, I accidentally stepped in some mud in them, and I think that I might need another pair. 
They're my favorite. I love them. These run really true to size. I'm an eight and a half. That's the size I stick in, stick with in these, and I easily can wear a sock with them and be very comfortable. So true to size in these. These are already on the site, but cute little zip up sneaker. They're fantastic. And I love this one with the uh, neutral colorways as well. Um, okay. Well, I'm just going to talk for a second. Christine, you're going to come back out here? Are you going to come out here? Oh, okay. Well, okay. I was going to answer a question. Yeah, I was just reading. Um, yes. Cute outfit, isn't it, April? It's so cute. Maria, my necklaces, you guys, we are going to show you something from Herman Hiss today, but these are from our friends over at Herman Hiss. Thank you, Christine, for answering. Um, I knew that you'd be on there, but yes, Herman Hiss is local. Christina owns Herman Hiss. She's here watching on uh, the live right now, um, but these can all be found on their website, hermanhiss.net. And if you have questions, Christine can help you uh, directly, or you can always message us after, and we'll be sure to get you the link and help you uh, get set up over there with their fantastic so okay i'm gonna start changing oh i just have to change a shirt so this shouldn't take me long <laughs> just changing a shirt just changing one shirt come on a little bit smaller i'm slow apparently i needed to oh i'm not even in front of the camera hi <sighs> just what were you in front of one camera oh. i just decided to just Stop walking and call it good when I thought I was out here. Hi, if you're new here, thanks for joining us. I am Christine, and if you're new here, not the Christine that's answering about jewelry. That's our other friend, Christine, who owns Herman Hiss. Christine, she's with a C, I'm with a K. <laughs> we were with her for New Year's, and our husbands would say, Christine with a C, Christine with a K, <laughs> so that we knew who they were talking to. Um, but if you are new here, I am Christine with a K and I am a size 14, 16. So I wear a 14 in Judy Blues and I wear a 1X or an extra large in tops depending on what the brand sells, what they carry, how they label their products. So in Doe and Ray in this beauty, it is labeled a 1X. That is my true size, super comfy, really cute. Love this long, cozy sleeves and just relaxed enough that I'm very comfortable in this. I would not size flex at all. I would stay in my true size. And I just love that center cup panel and how it draws your eye and it just makes you feel skinnier because of the long line and where the panels are. I love it. Rachel's over there thinking about what shoes she's going to put on. I think on. they're all going to go today. And all of them. All of them. Every single one. Yes, there. they're all going to go today. So she's got her shoehorn handy and she is ready <laughs> to slip some I have, boots on. I didn't even realize those in my she's hand. She's over there tapping it, looking at those <laughs> shoes. But I'm, I'm in the 1X. This is my true to size. This is what I would stay in. She's not even trying to sneak past the camera anymore. <laughs> you guys she's don't have like, a shoehorn. Get one. They're the best. <laughs> no, for real. They are, like, if you struggle getting a shoe on, like, it's amazing when you think, like, well, this doesn't fit, and then you have a shoehorn, and you're like, oh, <laughs> would y'all just look at that? Oh, these boots don't really work with these pants. No, are you? No, they just don't. Okay. They're a little too tall. Okay. okay. She had that shoehorn all ready. <laughs> I like the shoehorn for a lot of things. Like, I don't want to smash the back of the shoe. Here we go. Okay. Why do you have these same earrings on? All right, you guys. Well, this is one of my favorites. Do we have this in other colors? Favorites. No? Not with that mock neck. Now with this little funnel neck. Funnel neck. We can yeah, just hide in there. All right, this, you guys, is you take your best shot quilt to pull over and this pretty olive, like kind of olive green. It's a really, really pretty color. Um, and it has this fun little funnel neck. So it's kind of like the not the same as a, a cowl neck. It doesn't like, it doesn't cowl. It's just a funnel. Um, but it has the little ties you can tighten or loosen or just wear, tighten or wear loose. Uh, little front kangaroo pocket on this and... 
Um, a nice kind of slightly relaxed fit. Not oversized by any means. This one I would say stay true to size in. I'm shown in the small and it gives me just that little bit of relaxed feeling, but I don't, wouldn't want this to be skin tight. So it has a really great fit with staying true to size. Um, and I love this because it is one of those like little sweatshirt pullovers that you can dress up if you want um, or just wear more casual, but it's really stinking cute and extremely comfortable. Uh, this is another by Doe and Ray. Fabric content on this, 98% polyester, 2% spandex. Uh, and then I believe the waistband here is going to be your 97% cotton, 2% spandex. So stretch wise, uh, it has a little bit, again, more kind of give than it does stretch. So this is a reason that I would say don't size down um, in it because it doesn't have a lot of stretch to it, but it is not one of the quilted pullovers that runs super slim uh, or anything like that. So true to size in it, but it is so cute and easy. And again, a great weight, little great weight, a little banded cuffs here at the wrist. And then it is banded at the bottom, but not where it cinches in and it's super snug. So that's not really an area of concern. It just has a nice banded fit that air is not going to rush up it, but it it just sits comfortably. So I don't feel like it's digging in or too small or anything. So love that. Uh, just throw on the little Dylan sneaker uh, with this one, just for a cute little, again, relaxed and comfy outfit. It's fun if you pair this with a little booty um, because that will dress it up just a wee bit rather than a little sneaker. So you can definitely do some different things with styling to style it more along the way of where you're headed or what you're doing for the day. But it's one of those good like multifunctional pieces. Of course, this isn't like super dressed up, like not wearing it, you know, to a formal event, but it does give you some flexibility with maybe you could get away with wearing it to the office for the day if you paired it with the right, right pants and shoes. Uh, but it's also just a cute one for an easy day of shopping or watching sports or that kind of thing too. So love it. And I'm going to go change. Okay, bye. Bye. She's going to go change. Oh, it got very quiet. She left. The music stopped. How's everybody has New Year's resolutions going? We're 10 days in. Who has stuck to them? Who has given up? <laughs> Who has stuck to them but hates it? Who hasn't set one? Ooh, that's a good one. I don't think I've set a New Year's resolution in about seven years. Like, we all decided, I mean, I guess I guess it probably is more your perception of it. We all being Rachel, Ian, Jake, and I, with cruises and spring break coming up, that we would eat healthy until we left. And yeah. so the four of us collectively have been on a salad diet. Rachel and I have eaten 20 salads since <laughs> the year has started. Um... So we haven't like really, really set a resolution. It's just like a be aware. And so every week one of us is in charge of bringing a different type of salad to the boutique to feed mm -hmm. us. Yeah. So last week, Christine brought, um, what salads did we have? Oh, taco salad last week, we which was an salad. easy way to ease into it. Right. So we didn't have like Doritos crunched up on it, but we did the healthier, but it's an, it's a really flavorful salad to be able to ease in. Um, and then this week we're doing burgers in a bowl. Oh, they're my favorite. Which is like, is almost like a Big Mac in a bowl. Um, and then next week, Christine's going to do a caprese. A chicken caprese. Chicken one. caprese one. So we're trying to keep them fun too. It's change it every week. Yeah. I mean, we I know it's eat. not a cob salad. We will do cob yeah. salads, but like yeah. you can't do that every day for... You yeah, know, three months. So, so. Ian and I are also doing salads at home. So whatever Rachel and I plan here, I have to do opposite at home. Yeah, so burgers in a bowl. Oh my gosh, they're so good. You could look it up, but they are so good. And I tried to make the meat in a skillet, but like season it like a ham, like a like you were going to make burgers on the grill. Not, it did not work. Jake bur cooked us burgers um, <laughs> last night on the grill. He grilled us burgers because I was like, it's just not the same. Like it tastes like burger, but then it's like, a, it's just a different consistency texture kind of mm -hmm. thing. So he grilled us burgers and then we have that grilled flavor with it. So good. So you basically, you make a burger with cheese on it. Um, and then we have a bed of lettuce, tomatoes, onion, pickles cut up. So what you would put on a burger and then you put the burger on it cut up oh cheese we have like cheddar, cheese, cheddar yeah. cheese chunked on it and you cut up the burger and then you can choose to either do mustard mayo ketchup whatever toppings you like or you can do thousand island to make it like a big mac burger so 
it's up to you, but we did a lot of like calorie checking and counting and that kind of thing. And I found a really low, I'm doing low carb. So I look for really low carb Thousand Island and they're just fantastic. It but is, yes, we do burgers in the bowl, in a bowl a lot at home. They are incredible. Like look it up mm -hmm. on Pinterest or the internet or whatever, and it will pop right up. And like hands down our favorite. Ian and I went out to dinner Friday night and I didn't want to cheat yet. So I said, this is going to be really weird. Can I have a house salad with a burger on top? <laughs> and they were like, you can really have whatever you want. Yeah, And then everybody so at my table tried a bite of it and the restaurant, the local little dive restaurant where I live in Gladwin was like, we're going to have to put this on our menu. Yeah, <laughs> they're really good. It's a fun, different type of salad. So we're easing in with these and then we're going to get to the like full veggie Right, yeah. Christine? Are we where we go vegan? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not quite that far. Yeah, okay, that far. next up is the Messing Around Plaid Shacket. Available in sizes small through 3X. You guys, this is a really cute one. I paired it here with this tee um, because I think it's a good reminder, especially on a snow day, uh, that adulthood is straight up the wor worst hood I've <laughs> ever lived in. And today I felt that this morning. And I'm like, adulthood. And this weekend I did closet cleanouts and taking yeah, Christmas decor down. And I was like, adulting is just not fun. Um, so this cute little tee is already available on our website. Uh, it runs true to size unisex fit i'm shown in the small you can size up if you like a roomier fit but otherwise just stay true to size but a cute little tee just a fun fun piece to pair with things so this little button down the messing around plaid jacket it's available in sizes small through 3x this is also from our friends over at, at doe and ray um and this is so cute with its mixed plaids all just black and white and I guess black and white, I was going to say gray, but it's really just black and white. Um, and has this fun little black hood on it. Uh, that is like a sweatshirt weight material. And then this is like a traditional lighter weight flannel. This does have little pockets in it too. So wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you know? But it is not the weight of a shacket. So it is lighter weight, like a, like a flannel shirt um, over a shacket. But this is just really stinking cute and easy. I'm showing in my true size small. Um, and it's just a fun one to wear, you know, by itself, pair it over a cute tee, button it, wear it open, whichever way you prefer. It is just a really cute piece. When I had this on, Christine walked in, I was taking pictures and she's like, it's so cute. It is so cute. Um, so I also like this too, if you do like just that little half tuck. Am I talking the right side? Is it, does it say shacket? Yeah, and yeah. it's really not. No, it's, really it's a not. plaid button down. Yeah, it's, it's not shacket weight. Um, I will tell you fabric content in just a moment when I get this back unbuttoned all the way. But it's cute to, to, to do the little half talk, you know, that everybody's doing, that I always try to do. Um, but it's a cute way to style it as well and just wear it buttoned. So, love this. And let's see, fabric content on this one. 50% cotton, 50% polyester. That is what all of the mixes of fabrics are. <laughs> That's what, because I'm reading, because it says what? It says contrast one, contrast two, contrast three. And then we get to, oh, uh, the hood, if you want to know that one specifically, is 85% is cotton, 15% polyester. So that's the hood that is more of that traditional sweatshirt feel material. Um, but yeah, just super cute and easy. I love it. I love this. And if you live somewhere warmer where doing heavyweight or the shackets just are too much, this is a good option. Uh, you kind of get the look of a shacket, but without that added weight and thickness of one with your little side pockets. Um, but I love it. And even here too, I'm in my true size small. Even in this one, I could layer it over a lighter weight sweatshirt. So like an ampersand weight or an ampersand cowl neck and have it be still have enough room in it staying true to size to be able to layer it and style it like a shacket without it having that real heavy weight of doing both. So, um, true to size, Linda. So I think it probably a large in this one. It would just depend too, if you're only going to wear it open, you know, you can do different sizes. I, I would still say large. Um, and I would say I, you know, the small is the perfect fit for me open or closed. But if you flex between two sizes and you would only wear it open, then you probably could size flex down. But again, then you might not have the room to layer it over a sweatshirt or something. Christine's going to come on out here. I do. Did you answer too? I feel like it's a little lighter weight oh. than a traditional flannel. I, I think it's a traditional flannel shirt. 
Like a flannel, like if you talked about a men's flannel shirt, you think it's lighter than that? It's so hard because so many flannels are coming like more shacket style now. Like I feel like I bought Jake some flannels, but they are more shacket. So yeah, it's I mean, lightweight. I guess, like if you're thinking lumberjack flannel, like they're wearing red and black buffalo plaid out in the woods with cargo Carhartt pants to cut down some trees. Like that's the thick flannel yeah. that I think of where yeah. I think this is more like men's dress shirt that maybe has the plaid or flannel printed on it. But it's soft. It's, it's soft. Like it's that. almost like flannel sheets. Like thickness. Yeah. Yeah. I would say it's, like, yeah. Lighter weight than what Elmer Fudd wears. But not like your 3,000 count flannel no. <laughs> sheets. More like the 500 Fred <laughs> Come on out here. <laughs> quality that it feels like it's 10,000 count. <laughs> <laughs> it is fantastic. It is. I love it. You know, like I am, I want to wear this with a jean jacket and my little hood popped out. Oh yeah. Like I would wear, so if I were going to wear it to layer it, I would need to layer it over something. I would need to size up one. I'm very comfortable. I'm in the one X. This is my true size. Unless I were going to unbutton it and put it over, like Rachel is saying, with an ampersand. If I wanted to wear it over an ampersand, I would have to for sure wear it unbuttoned. But I can definitely wear it buttoned as my layer and then throw a jean jacket on over it because it's not too thick. I mean, that's where you really get into the, like, it really is a button down. I can get a jacket on over it, but like this... And wearing it open, I could do it over an ampersand. Oh, and snack holes. Mm -hmm. That's probably what gave it the shacket name. Yeah. Is that it has snack holes in it instead of just being like a regular button out. It's so cute. Well, you know where this is designed in California where they don't need shackets. Oh, that's the problem. This is a shacket to them. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need the thicker, heavier weight. They didn't just get eight inches of snow. And like, I wouldn't wear that out in sign just like this. <laughs> but I'm in my true to size. I would totally stay in this one to wear it buttoned, jean jacket over it, or open with a sweatshirt underneath. I have enough room Excuse in me. my arms, plenty of room there, and in the seams where it's not going to get too tight with, something underneath super cute love it she's ready to launch some shoes ready we got some shoes we got to launch all right you guys so let's talk about these shoes real quick since they're in my hands already um we are launching these cute little hollies uh they are called what oh thought you were like not liking something I said. Nope. Um, these are the Holly Game Day glitter, which are so fun because they are glittery all over, but they are part of their game day collection. So we have multiple colors that are releasing um, as of right now. I think we have a few more in the works to be coming. Uh, so we have the green and the blue. These are really fun. Uh, this would have been great for like Michigan State and U of M. Maybe if you're a basketball fan, that's still going on, right? But um, two, I think even like Detroit Lions, you could get away with this blue. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, and I mean, lots of NFL teams. Yeah, there's School a lot. Teams. School teams, NFL. And then the girls here also had some cute ideas of mixing and matching them. St. Patty's Day, absolutely. I already I thought about that as well for when we launched that. And we have a red pair that I have on with this new little Valentine's sweatshirt. So there is the red, blue, green, and then the black and yellow, which I know a lot of teams are black and yellow. Um, if you are a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, who else? The Pittsburgh Penguins. Everybody in Pittsburgh. Everybody in Pittsburgh needs these. Black and yellow. That's um, all we know. 
<laughs> yeah. But so I don't, we were talking like, we don't know why they chose yellow ties on this one, other than that there are a lot of yellow and black sports sports teams. So these run true to size. Um, I'm an eight and a half or nine. I'm in the eight and a half in these. And I'd say I actually have a little bit of extra room. Now these aren't going to stretch out the same way that the uh, canvas ones do because they're a little bit of a different material being that they are co coated in this glitter. Um, and it's a fine glitter. It's not chunky. So I would say stay true to size, especially if you'll wear a little sock. If you won't wear a sock, <clears throat> and you have found that you've sized down in these before, you can size down in this one as well. Because I feel roominess in there um, where I can't go down to the eight, but I have enough room for a sock and they would just be a little looser and comfy. So super cute new shoes in the four, five, four, four, can't count, four colors today that are launching. And then we also have another, is this one already... Is this, this one is still in pen, draft mode, right? It pending. Is. Okay, so we're gonna, while we're on that, we're gonna talk about these as well. So these are the Holly in gray, just a heavy canvas. So these are come, the can, or I'm sorry, the gray come in a few different ones. So there's the Harley that is a Sherpa lined. Um, then there is just a lighter weight canvas outer that's more of like a smooth material and this is a heavier canvas so it has more of a texture to it so depending on season where you're at if you have a preference when it comes to that some of them are more of a suede finish so you can kind of look to see the difference but we're going to launch these today as well in just that solid gray these are a great go-to and will be available for you guys tonight also run true to size same details as the others fit wise as i was talking about um where stay true to size to wear a sock size down if you've sized down in the past no need to size up wide feet stay true to size you don't have to size up for them because they will flex and stretch a little bit with your with your foot so i think that covers those but that cute little red one fun for valentine's day too um so then this little sweatshirt that i have on is the love you mean it pullover sweatshirt it's available in small through 3x now we released a love you mean it with our uh valentine's collection and i was like love you mean it that's from something and then somebody told us Ginny and georgia which jillian has been watching since and so she texts me every time they say it she's like heard it again love you mean it uh, from Ginny and georgia just a cute little simple saying on this sweatshirt so solid white sweatshirt unisex fit so slightly relaxed fit and then the love you mean it in red i just love how bold that looks on the white so true to size um this is is this 100 percent cotton do you remember i think it's 100 percent ring spun cotton um just for size or for fabric content reference but 50 cotton, 50 polyester. Oh, 50 cotton, 50 polyester. Yes. So super cute. Threw on some little heart earrings. You guys don't forget our Valentine's collection is live. This will be added to it. And as a few things kind of trickle in, we will add them to that collection as well. So you guys can snatch them up there. Um, my nails, Linda, I see you asked. I just, today was nail day. Um, they are like this really pretty light purple and then some glitter with some snowflakes. I was feeling... I got, I've got to show one camera at a time, <laughs> <laughs> but they're just, they're just a cute, cute, fun, something a little bit different. I don't usually do anything in the purple realm. It's just not typically, not typically my choice, but I love this because it, it's a little bit more on the side of orchid. <laughs> just kidding. Way to bring that in. <laughs> I'm going to go use yell at our music box. I don't want to say her name and like get her all riled up. Yeah. Don't get her riled up. I got I agree. Otherwise, it's just too quiet, especially when Christine's grumpy and not talking. She can't just really, like, set the mood here. We'll get that straightened away. Right now, all we can hear is the heater in this room kicking on, trying to make it warm. Okay. I don't know where she went. Christine went far away. She, I don't know what's going on with this one. She won't play for me. No, she is. Oh, is she now? Yeah. Okay. I had to go far away because I didn't want to yell at her in here. And then, oh. I wonder if you like went up to her and whispered. I feel like mine at home hears everything. Yeah, probably. They probably hear everything. <laughs> everything. Okay. 
here's I come. What is in my hair? Can you see? There are some things dangling in my hair. Mm -mm. Where? I don't know what you're looking at. <sighs> it was a fuzz. Oh my goodness. Okay. Sorry for this delay. All right, next up, you guys, is the You're So Happy Varsity Lounge Dress. This is so stinking cute. This comes in four sizes, small, medium, large, extra large, 1X, and 2X. So those four different sizes. I'm in the small, medium, which is roomy, but it is so stinking cute. And I did pair it over leggings because I wanted to show you because a lot of people always ask on our lives, can you wear it with leggings? And you can't. So I will take the leggings off so you can see it without, just so that way you can get an idea. But look how stinking cute this is. So varsity stripes across the top, working buttons, does have some little raw edge details, which is just fun. Kind of your traditional collar, but I love it because it is like, it's a nice. Oh, oh, look at that. Does that bring you back to like I love, I love a good popped Pop collar. Polo collar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is really stinking cute and comfy. So roomy fit, definitely a roomy fit. I don't want anybody to be surprised and say like, I didn't know it was roomy. You measured this today, right? Yep. Um, so measurements for this are on the site, but yes, roomy or fit on this one. You can obviously button or unbutton however you'd like to style it. I did not pair it or wear it over a tank or anything just by itself. And this is heavier weight. So it is like a sweatshirt material, baby French terry. So it doesn't have fleece lined in it, but you does have where it's like inside out. So you have the inside out material out here. So that's what the inside looks like. And then the outside, you know, but the insides on the outside and the outsides on the inside. Yeah, good job. <laughs> good job with that one. <laughs> no snack holes on this one, but it has this fun little handkerchief kind of hemline on it. So it is longer in the back than in the front. In the front, and again, for reference, I'm 5'7". It's hitting me just like right at the knee, kind of, right at the knee. So it's certainly not short, um, and then a wee bit longer in the back. So it's hitting me below, kind of at the top of my calves. Oh, um, but so stinking cute. I love the color in this. Um, fun little cuffs, you know, like banded cuffs here. So roomy fit. I'm in the small medium. Again, I'm a size eight. So size flexing in this is absolutely going to be possible depending on how you want it to fit across the bust. Drop shoulders. So plenty of room in that bust area uh, for, a, you know, for a larger chest to fit in there. Just remember that is going to lift it up and shorten it up a wee bit when you do put a larger chest um, in something. So but it's so cute. This one is like the perfect travel outfit too. Like this, so I thought the same stylish, thing. Stylish, but so uh -huh. comfy, like absolutely yeah. adorable. Let me, I'm going to take it, the leggings off just so you guys can get a visual of it without leggings too. So I take my clothes off on camera. Um, but I love it. I again threw on that little Dylan with it because I think this is a really cute one, kind of a little sporty sneaker to wear with it. But I also thought that any of our Hollies or um, what did you say this one is called? The Jazzy would be a cute option with it as well for a different shoe style um, to throw on with it. So that that Dylan is just adorable being a fun little fun little varsity almost. I always feel like that star on the, on the side gives you that little bit of a varsity feel too. So this only comes in this color. It's the only color that it was made in. Um, so this is the only one, but I love it. I love khaki and white. So cute, cute, cute. And again, measurements are on the site. If you want to compare what the difference is in the small, medium to the large, extra large, but size flexing is possible. It is so cute. And actually, Sue, when I saw this, I was like, Sue is going to be so thrilled. I know. I actually thought of you and I was like, let me put it on with leggings because Sue always likes to see things on with leggings. Okay. Let me get changed. I'm going to pop your comment for this next. Are you putting this one on? So that I can go change. I good. I want to see you in it. I think you're gonna love it just as much as I, I know do. that I'm gonna love it. I already I know, know you that are too. It is just, uh, it is like heavy. Don't pack. This is great for travel, but you'd have to wear it there and home, or your suitcase is gonna be overweight. <laughs> it, it's heavy. It's heavy. I mean, it's solid. I have. Do you remember that old? This is old ladies. 
Unless you've been around since A&D days, that hot pink long maxi skirt I have. Yes. I want to pack that every time we go somewhere. But that <laughs> skirt alone weighs like seven pounds. It's a very heavy skirt. Yeah, you guys, back in um, the day when I sold Agnes Dora, which is what I like started with, we sold these beautiful like ball skirts. If you were around then you'd remember. And they were just stunning, but super heavy. And we would have challenges amongst us reps of like who could get it packaged the smallest and for the cheapest shipping cost. Um, so that was always a fun little challenge between all of us because they were like massive. They weighed a ton and they were huge, uh, but they were just gorgeous. I think Christine's coming back. I am, but I put your comment up there. Oh, you did? I didn't know that. Yeah. What comment did you put up there? Blouse. Oh, okay. That's it. We got to change it from blouse to top. I think we changed it on the other oh, colorway. Yeah, I can change that. Um, okay, let's see. This is the See the Best in You top. It says blouse, but top. I want you guys to know it's not like a blouse material. Um, this is a lightweight jersey knit. It is fantastic. Get another Doan Ray. We had a lot of Doan Ray today. Um, it is just fantastic and such a great piece. Loving this black and white stripes. Very classic. Nice neckline on this with that like notched neckline. Um, but so stinking cute. Little button cuff here. And then a very relaxed fit again on this one. So definitely relaxed and roomy. But again, it's a jersey knit. It has a nice stretch to it. So this is one if you're in between sizes, size down or go with the smaller size. And then if you're not in between size and you're just like, I'm a large, I'm a large, I'm a large, you have the ability in this one to size down if you would prefer to because of the roominess. However, I like the fit of it. It's comfy. It's cute. It's easy. Um, this is a great travel one too because it's that jersey knit so it's not going to wrinkle um but it's a really good piece and then super cute with a little front tuck in it too um so this one is available in what's the other color do you remember camel, camel is what it's called yeah. um so it's also available in camel and white stripes so two really great neutrals that just will go with everything and kind of classic like aren't going to go out or anything so they are fantastic i think you guys are going to love it and for a nice dressier top option a lot of the time we find that blouses are that rayon or nylon uh polyester where polyester poly rayon what I don't know what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> but where they have no stretch to them. So this is a good one because it has that stretch and it's really comfortable. Um, this is 65% rayon and 30% polyester and 5% spandex. So it's a nice blend. So that blend is what gives us the stretch and a little bit of a different feel and weight to it. So we absolutely adore this. Um, and then the jeans. I don't know if Christine put the comment up. No, I can do that. That's okay. Are these the clean? Yeah. Okay, so these are the Judy Blue clean girlfriend jeans. Yep. Um, and which I think I had these on last week. We do have a whole bunch of jeans on the way. Um, because if you look at it and they're like, well, these you don't have an every size. We don't because we are working right now on like a majorly restocking and trying to get as many jeans back in house as we can because we had this huge influx uh, in jean sales, which is a great thing for us. Not so great if you're shopping jeans on the site, uh, but we do have a ton coming. Um, is, but these are just a fantastic one. They are girlfriend jeans, so they're not quite as skinny. So a little bit more of a relaxed fit here and where it doesn't hug my ankle all the way at the bottom. So slightly more relaxed. You can see I have a little bit more um, material here in my knee area but still a really great go-to and a good slimmer jean rather than like a boot cut um so in these i'm in my normal 728 they run true to size and they're just a really good no dist no distressing on these great go-to piece i'm not taking this off i'm wearing it right home <laughs> you know wear it right home yep. and then on to your next trip yeah perfect so okay i'm gonna go ahead and change um, and Christine's going to come on out here. Yeah. I got stuff all over the place, I feel like, right now. Sorry, I'm just typing. You're okay. I'm just typing and desk. Oh, I didn't put this little thing. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm never, I'm literally never taking this off. I love this. The one thing that I noticed that is different is it's a little more fitted through the chest on me. And so here's why. Rachel was in the small medium. She's much closer to a small 
then a medium so wearing a small slash medium she's going to be on the smaller end of filling out the top the size that i have on is the large extra large because i am an extra large i'm the latter of the two sizes i'm going to fill it out oh more. you're in the large extra large. i am in the okay, large I wasn't extra sure large if you were putting on the large extra large or the one x i after i measured them today i was like well why not everybody loves a good size down tag <laughs> however you guys know full well that that is not how i recommend the clothing but i do say like whenever there is an option of doing large extra large versus one x two x your girl loves the size down too, just as much as everybody else does, which is why I'm so honest about what I wouldn't size down and why I wouldn't size down. So if I were to put the 1X on, it would fit much looser through the bust. I still have room. So even if you're a true extra large 1X like I am, you're going to have room in the bust. This is, I'm not filling out all of the fabric. So keep in mind, if you are bustier, it will lift it a little bit more than what it is on me. I'm 5'8", and mine is hitting right at the top of my kneecap, just like Rachel's did. Um, but I love it. And if you want it a little bit bigger, you can always size up too. If you want it more relaxed and a little bit flowier, that's not going to hurt either. But I'm in oh, the large, extra so large. Beautiful. I love it. I'm not taking it off. This is it. This is all I'm wearing for the rest of the month of January. That's it. Mm -hmm. Done. I'm going to have to wash it every day, but I love it. And I paired it with black leggings. Actually, our little uh, black oh, speckle cute. ones that's that have speckles. those copper dots. Um, yeah, I don't think you can see them on here, but it's a really fun. We're just going to Febreze her. Febreze her and the dress. There you go. I'll just <laughs> shower with it on and clean the whole thing as I go. We didn't, we didn't do this. We didn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't put earrings on, so I didn't know for this one. Um, we have a cute little cardigan that's releasing today, and I was supposed to have it on already uh, when I came out with this top on, and I failed. Um, you guys, this is unbelievably soft. Like, holy cow. It is so, so soft. I don't know if you can see that, but my gosh. Feels like bear fur. I don't even know if a bear is soft. What have I touched a bear? What, I mean, unless you're a <laughs> lion tamer or work at a zoo. It's not long like bear fur, though, right? They have long fur. Do they? I, I don't know. know. Tell me. You're a botanist over there. Actually, they have plants. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is just really cute. It has. um like it drops shoulder it doesn't really have a shoulder seam it just goes right straight into this cute oversized uh sleeve here and then this little cuff here so it does keep it above your hand it's not gonna just fall over your hand no button so this is just a wear open cardigan um and i am in my true size small this is available in sizes small through 3x uh it is called the there's no other plush cardigan there's no other plush cardigan available in small through three eggs. Sometimes I don't know like where the comma needs to go. You know, you need a comma in these comments from now on. <laughs> I want to get your kids. There's a t-shirt that says, let's eat grandma. Let's eat comma grandma. <laughs> Both of them. And then underneath it says punctuation matters. Absolutely it does. Christine and I are little sticklers over here for punctuation. <laughs> I don't sound like it, right? You guys are like, you don't articulate that when you're on a live. But we do. When I get an email and it's in all lowercase, I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't all even, lowercase. No period. <laughs> Full paragraph sentence. <laughs> you guys have to know when you get those or you're reading posts on Facebook and it's like, it takes you like six times as long to read it because you then you have to like go back and you're like, wait, where would a period be? Where would a comma be? Is this the start of a new sentence? Um, but yeah, so this is 65% polyester, 35% acrylic. So stink stinking soft um, and definitely size flexible on this one because it's open front and it just like sits nice and open and comfy it is so good so i would say you could size down if you want um i like staying true to size to have that little bit of a roomy fit but you guys can see that there is roominess to this so size flexing is really going to be up to you if you want to go down or not the ability to go down is there with the style of this but it's not necessary to size down this is just cozy it's a good one uh, for this time of year when you really want to be cozy in that super soft stuff so love it Okay, now I'm going to change. I already put shoes on to match my next outfit. 
when I had that little break. Oh, yes, yeah. you did. Got her shoehorn out and all. <laughs> Guys, a shoehorn, it's a great investment. I'm almost going to give you all one for Christmas, but. <laughs> <laughs> Thought about it, changed your mind. Sometimes I'm like, you know what? I'm going to send them all a shoehorn and a tape measure. <laughs> Next year's Christmas gift. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. No, Especially it's not. Especially for nice ones, right? Well, like, I, yeah. Pretty in pink. That's true. Matches nicely. <laughs> Cute little set. <laughs> We're also going to send you a needle and some thread. I was going to say, a little sewing kit. Yeah. And a pair of mini scissors for any rogue some extra strings. earring backs <laughs> like what are some situations you could run into <laughs> we should be writing these down right now yeah because it's gonna i'm gonna be like what did we say like what, it was like january what did we suggest i won't remember we will not remember christine will remember kathy rachel's necklaces are all under the rachel's pick on Herman Hiss's website, but you can also contact them and they know exactly what her necklaces are and what she wears and the inch and the diameter and everything about it that if they needed to probably order some more pieces, they would. Yes. But feel free to shoot us a message, Kathy. Um, I know that you've emailed and text, so you have our contact. So feel free to send us a message if you need and we can help you. Yes, Tammy, to cut out hanger straps because there was wrong with One hundred percent. I put on two different earrings because I just couldn't decide. Well, I think this one. I don't know. Couldn't decide, but I like both these greens. Um, this blouse is so pretty. This is called the. Thank you for choosing to shop with us. That's what. I'm just kidding. That's not what it's called. That was just Christine's last comment. Where is it? Put it up. It's I not thought, there. I, I did. It's been taking too long. It's been taking too long. All right. I got to go change anyway. Stop talking to me. All right. This is the... Here, I'm going to tuck that back in. The Always Be Mine Floral Blouse. It's available in sizes small through 3X. Um, and this is so pretty. This was a hard one that I was like, oh, we almost included it in our Valentine's collection. So it really is like a good one for that too. Cause it's really kind of romancy and sweet and girly. Um, but we just had a lot of stuff last week to cover. So it held off till this week, but available in small through three X has this cute little, uh, smocked top here. Uh, so it's not snug on your neck. It just has that little smocked collar. So if you don't do turtlenecks or things tight, don't worry. This is not, it has nice stretch to it. It's really comfortable, cute little ruffle shoulder detail. Um, and then a relaxed fit in the body. So I have roominess, no stretch of this material, but I do have roominess here, little side slits on the side there, and then a smocked cuff as well on this. So you have some cute details with this really pretty floral print. Uh, so this has, browns in it so more brown base it doesn't have blacks in it then you have the pretty oranges the pinks the white and the limey green so really pretty color combo here um and i threw on a new boot i'll show you guys this in just a moment after we cover this top so fit wise fabric content this is 75 percent rayon 25 percent nylon um again i'm shown in the small i'm a size eight shown in the small so slightly relaxed fit here so i have some roominess this one, I like to stay true to size uh, for that roominess. And then also to be able to do a cute little front tuck with it and have it just shortened up like this. It's again, a really easy way and cute way to be able to style uh, your clothing to kind of cinch it in and give it more of a put together, finished look to your outfit. So I love that. Now, size-wise, shoulders fit me really kind of in a perfect spot. So while there's roominess, this would be one area that I would pay attention to that I'd be worried sizing down is going to pull this all in. It is smocked in the top, but while you can pull this, it's not going to stay out there. So that's one thing that I would think about. When you are in a size smaller then, and it's going to pull this, it's also going to pull this armhole then up, okay? So if that's sitting closer, it's going to cinch this in a wee bit. Now, it's certainly not snug on me right now, but if I I were to si be able to size down this only comes in small not extra small then it's going to make that a little bit more snug which then shortens up your sleeve and also makes it tighter here underneath the arm so 
while you're in between sizes, you might have the ability to size down. Um, I'd say double check the measurements to be 100% sure that there's enough roominess. But otherwise, staying true to size is a safe bet for a cute, roomy fit uh, where everything else fits so nice. So you have the flowiness in the body, but it all everything everywhere else is a great finish to it and a great touch that I think that staying true to size is your best option. Oh, it also has two little buttons here at the back of the neck. I only have one button um, and then a keyhole detail. So it is easy to get on and off uh, because of that keyhole. So, so cute. So cute. Oh, and then my boot. I gotta show you this. You I'm my next. boot. I did use my shoehorn to put this boot on because I love my shoehorn. What is this called? The, the Merlot. Merlot Low. This is the Merlot Low. So we had the Merlot in a couple of different uh, colorways in a taller boot. So this is the shorter version. These are really great because they are not snug uh, on the ankle area. So if you have a wider calf, this will be a good one for you because there's plenty of room here um, around that ankle area and you know the lower portion of your calf where this isn't going to be snug. And it's not like an ankle ankle booty. So it's kind of that little bit. It's just a wee bit higher, uh, a couple of inches higher than like what an ankle booty would be where it really sat down at your ankle. So cute little details. This is a tooled uh, vegan leather and then has this fun uh, detail here that wraps around little buckle kind of look to it gives it just a wee bit of a western touch without being over the top side zipper for easy on and off and then this one is just a faux side zipper for looks yes these run true to size i'm an eight and a half or nine i could do the eight and a half in these with a nylon I prefer the nine to size up the half size for a little bit more room for comfort and then also to be able to wear a sock with it. So size up half size is my recommendation. If you frequently do, if you have a narrow foot, you should be okay staying true to size. Okay, I'm going to change. Okay, you go change. I am going to do the best to show off these fabulous pieces. But they are insanely staticky. <laughs> I used so, the, like, the rest of the static guard on my <laughs> I'm sorry. I can feel it in my hair and I can feel it clinging everywhere. So it's going to be hard to get a good shape view. I mean, like, you can see how this side is just getting, like, stuck. Up. Look at this. It just sticks. There's, like, nothing. Come on. Like, it just <laughs> stick. Do you see this? It just sticks to my fabric. <laughs> so I am going to try and show you the shape and the fit, but it's going to be a little difficult with how it just wants to stick to itself. I am in the 1X in this sweater. It is quite a bit longer. <laughs> Look at it. Used all the static card, you guys. She used all the static <laughs> card. <laughs> so I'm in the 1X. It is cute. It is comfy. It is cozy. What I like about it is that it connects in the front, right? So that's how I judge that I'm in my true size. The front touches. And thanks to the static, you can see that it touches. <laughs> and that that's where it's supposed to lay without it being stretched. If I were to go, oh my gosh, you can just hear it. If I were to go down a size, this would fall outside of my chest. And then I feel like I'm constantly doing like the pull in. Like I want it to be in the right spot. Sleeves are good. The sleeves are also long. They're also full of static. <laughs> but very good sleeve like. And I like that you can pull it up and do a little bit of billowing. Static helps with that. <laughs> Can you hear it? Can you hear it out there? Can you hear it? It's like, <laughs> um, I'm also, I don't know if, I, can you shake static out of things so that I can show you this cute top without it clinging? So in this top, I am also in the 1X. Would stay in this, even in the camel, I stayed true to size in the 1X in this one. Really good drape on the back. Little bit clingy, not normal though. If you don't have a sister that uses all of the static art in the world, it won't cling to you. Get your own can. I'm sorry. Label it. <laughs> but I'm in my true size. I'm in the 1X. This is what I would stay in. I wish that Rachel didn't ruin this for all of us. 
and I could show you better what it looks like when it's not clinging, but such is life. Such is life. So stay true to size in this beauty. I'm going to get her next comment. I'm going to grab those couple of new bags. Okay. These two. Oh, All right, you comments. guys. Did you want to, you wanted to finally. Well, yeah, Christine was trying a new drink today um, oh, that I got her you. and then she drank the whole thing before I could be taste well, test it. where have you been for an hour and 16 minutes? <laughs> I've been minutes. busy. Um, put your comment up and I'll go get a new one. Okay. All right, you guys. So we have a restock on one of our best selling bags. Um, it's the Penelope bag, but it's spelled Pine Low. <laughs> It spelled pine lope, so that's what we call it around here, but it is meant to be the Penelope. Um, even the creators of the bag, I said we call it the pine lope, and she said we do too, even though it's the Penelope. Um, so you guys, you maybe have seen these before in the cream, black, gray, olive, which you did just restock. But we also have them in two brand new beautiful colors, navy and I think this is in a hot pink I can or fuchsia. Um, either one. These will both be in the new this week category and they are launching today. But these are fantastic and honestly, one of our best selling bags. I have the cream myself. And I know that when I first got it, I was a little bit worried about how dirty I was going to get it, but I have washed it in my washing machine, hung it to dry, and it's been fantastic uh, when I've had to, because I've worn it traveling, and so you're in and out of airports, and dirtiness, and hands, and that kind of thing, and they really wash well. And they're good um, because they're lightweight, so it's a quilted material. And they're just so cute. Has gold accents on it, or gold hardware on it. And then what I love is that the strap... Here, let me extend it so I can put it on so you guys can see. Um, so the strap, you can undo and put on the other side. So I wear my crossbody all the time on this side. This is the side of my body that I wear it on. But if you like to wear it the opposite direction uh, or on your back the same direction, you can snap it onto this side instead. So it gives you the ability. Some of them you can only wear on one and you don't have the ability to change which side that is on. So I love that feature as well as it has the two zipper pockets. So you have both those on the front and this one is just a nice large open pocket and it honestly fits so many things way more than I would have ever expected <laughs> um, that I can that you can put in here and I love that it's, it's separated. So you can fit a lot of stuff in here and then in this fantastic pocket um, my other favorite feature is that it has the little card holder on the inside. So this is a great one. I've loved it for travel, for baseball season. When I just want a small purse, I can be hands-free wear it. But I can have my driver's license, a couple credit cards, membership card, whatever I need, some cash. I just fold my cash and kind of tuck it in the back of there as well. So it has that built in so I don't have to bring a wallet in addition to it to take up more space. Um, but it really is the perfect little purse and I love the new colors. So restocked in the other colors. We might want to tag those that they land in the new this week um, since they were restocked. And then the two newbies in the fuchsia and navy are just beautiful. And again, I love those for any age. Like I think they're great for tweens um, and then you're like college age. They're really good good bag for all ages and lightweight. So I brought it along too in my suitcase when I want to have another alternate purse option. It's really lightweight. doesn't take up a lot of room. Smart for packing. Carry the heavier one, pack the lighter one. Yeah. Yeah. So it is a nice one to have another option for a bag because I feel like the quilted dresses it down a little bit. Um, so if I was going to do some, you know, fancy dinner, the, the quilted isn't as dressy as having a leather bag. Yeah. It just isn't. And so I like to have both when we're traveling because we do more casual things, going by the pool, going for a walk on the right. beach, you know, and that kind of thing. Oh, <gasps> she's pointing over there at this drink so I can try it. So she got this new drink here. It's the Absolute Vodka Cranberry. And there are several different, so this one is just cranberry. Yeah. So there's cran grape, there's cranberry, there's cran raspberry. I told her I couldn't wait to try the cran ras. Berry. She obviously didn't listen since she I brought me just get to it yet. cranberry to try. Um, but these are from Ocean Spray is who makes them. These are not part of our diet plan, I don't think. Um, but they're always fun to like have a couple sips or a couple mm -hmm. once a week. Oh, 
that's tasty yeah that's very good if you guys see those around and you've liked the grape one yes i already had the vodka cream grape and it was very good oh, yes yeah if you guys are ever curious how drinks taste we'll be your taste tester you just <laughs> text us what you want to know you i know, don't i was looking for the calories and i can't find it anywhere oh wait calories i could no i couldn't Hold on, I'll come back. <laughs> She'll find it. But you guys, I am loving these Sunny D's and I was really surprised when I found, these are 95 calories, zero sugar, and two carbs. So they're pretty close to a white claw. Um, but yeah, I'm loving, loving these. Loving them. calories. Can we not ship those? We can't, <laughs> we can't. Okay, my next top here. Let me talk about this as I'm wearing over here just talking about random things all right next up is the dream on peplum top in black and magenta this is a top that we have had available in multiple prints um in different colorways and this has been a huge hit great fan favorite this is a dear scarlet top which we are loving their pieces because they've all come in this wonderful travel friendly material as we're talking about traveling and packing um and thinking about spring breaks i guess and all the the trips that people start doing in the next month or two um this is a great one for that because this material is a uh, lightweight, so it's easy for travel. It is wrinkle free. Uh, you can literally crinkle it in a ball and undo it and it does not wrinkle. Um, so it's a really perfect one for travel. And this is the same material as the figure it out top. If you've gotten any of those, um, and a few others, we have several other tops from Dear Scarlet that are the same material that are just fantastic. So little peplum skirt on this one skirt on the shirt. It's not a dress. So little peplum here, elastic in the waist, but it fits really nicely. It gives a really great cut to this. Um, drop shoulder here, so no shoulder seam, and then that larger open arm. But this is so good. So I am showing my true size small. This is a black background with the magenta floral. Just a really pretty combo. It's a real rich color combo. Um, but it just fits so good. So this is one some people have opted to size down and you can because of the stretch of the material and the cut in the shoulders. Um, and so you have enough room in the bust to be able to go down a size. If you are extra, extra busty, I would not size down because it is going to lift up this peplum and you just don't want that to sit in an odd spot because then that's when we get, when it sits in an odd place where then it feels like it's billowing out um, and it's not as flattering of a fit. So I would say stay true to size in this. Unless you're in between sizes, you can size down. And if you're not busty, then you could go down as well. Um, but this is so stinking cute, you guys. I love it. And then I threw on the Savannah, uh, which this is just a cute little sandal that we have um, that was a huge seller. I think we got this like late, late, late summer or even early fall. And it sold out so fast. And then our rep was here and he's like, you know, we got the Savannah back. I was like, huh? I was like, well, we need it. And he's like, well, they'll ship now. And I was like, okay, well, let's ship them now. We didn't know that you had it again. So this is a really cute one. We love how it has this, you know, the wider and then it gets smaller on the outside. Uh, so it has that cute look um, across the top of your foot. Um, and then it holds your foot in place really nicely. Cute little heel on this, nothing crazy. That nice semi squishy insole in it. Uh, runs true to size. A little bit of goring here, which is nice for when you're walking with that. Also for a little bit of stretch if you do have a wider foot, top of your foot. Um, but these are just fantastic. I'm an eight and a half or nine and I prefer the nine in these. I prefer to go up the half size for a little bit more length on them. Um, so that's my personal preference is up half size just again for that little bit of length. I think if you have a narrow foot, you'll slide forward a little bit more and you can stay true to size. What are you doing back there, Christine? I'm trying to figure out how many calories are in this absolute drink. <laughs> Cause it's not on the can. And it's not on Absolute's website oh, either. Oh boy. Is it on Ocean Sprays? Mm, <laughs> I haven't seen it on there yet. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna change. She's gonna change and I'm gonna keep looking up the alcohol we're drinking. <laughs> Very... I don't know why. You don't know why? Why? I don't know why I can't find it. No, I don't know why either. I wonder if it's on the package. I think it has to be, doesn't it? Isn't it like the rule? I thought that it was, but I don't know where to find it. I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. 
Yeah, I don't know because I feel like Ocean Spray is probably full of sugar. <laughs> well, thanks for ruining it. Whatever. I know I bought it and wasn't thinking. I just thought it looked fun. Something different. Um, okay, next up is the Silence in the Night striped top in olive, available in sizes small through 3X. This top is one that we previously released, again, in another colorway. Um, it was like a tan and navy stripe, and then this one is olive and navy stripe. Doe and Ray, again, being fantastic. Absolutely love this. Uh, this is nice because it's not quite the weight of a sweatshirt, so it's a little bit lighter weight, uh, but the material is thicker than a jersey knit, so it has a little bit more of a structured feel. My hood is like inside out. A little bit more of a structured feel to the material, and then has this cute little contrast where here the stripe that goes down the arm is a contrast and kind of ribbed material, um, and that's the same that goes on the cuffs and then also along this bottom edge detail. It is so comfortable and such a cute piece. I love this. So you have the little hood in the back, curved hemline on this, um, and then these little slits, they don't hit very high. So it's not like it's gonna be showing your skin. I've got a couple more inches to the top of my jeans. So it's a really cute piece. Two to size would be my recommendation. I love the fit across the bust and the slightly like relaxed and flowiness here. Slightly relaxed in my arm so it's not super snug. The material does have stretch to it, but that I wouldn't size down. I would still stay true to size so that you aren't stretching it, but it fits naturally how it's intended to. But this is such a good one, and I love this color. I love olive, and I love pulling that maybe in. Uh, it's 100% cotton, and then the accent detail is 93%. 93% cotton and 7% spandex. So, really cute. And if olive isn't your color, then check out the tan one. Taupe, camel, whatever color that one was. <laughs> that already really, same name, just different. Camelish color. Um, but yeah, it's so pretty. Love the colors. So this is my kind of top. Pretty. This is my kind of Yeah, you top. guys, if it's not summer and she can't wear white, that's this right. is her kind of top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what would just be better if this came in solid white? <laughs> I'm kidding. I think you have every like t-shirt hoodie we've ever had. In white? No, I just mean like any t-shirt oh. hoodie that's ever been. Ever existed in our boutique? Yes. Yes. And probably every white top. <laughs> that. That is probably accurate. Ever had. Is it long enough to wear with leggings? It is gonna be like right on the cusp. I would say that it really is probably going to depend more on your particular height. And personal preference. Yes, because like it is just below the bum. Like if I were gonna be working in the back of the boutique all day and not work with customers, I would say like, yeah, I'd be comfortable back here with the four of us. Mm -hmm. If I had to hop out of my car at the gas station, but like if I were going to be out in public all day, I'd probably be slightly self-conscious based on my height at 5'8", that it would be a little too short. Yeah. Yeah, um, Patty, at 5'2", I'm sure you can do it. Yeah, and then the total length, too, is listed on the site if you wanted to look up what the length is. I think that, I mean, again, it's going to boil down to per personal preference. Some people really, when they say it's so long enough to wear with leggings, they want it to be tunic length, no side. You know, this is where, like, some of it's preference. Like, I could say I'm comfortable to wear it with leggings, but Christine will say, like, well, I'm not. You know, so that's where... We're also seeing people wear crop tops with leggings. And it's all, crop. all out there. Yeah, so can you wear that? I mean, crop tops, she's right. You know, crop tops with leggings. So any leg, somebody might say yes. Technically, anything is worth it. Yes. And doable. Um, okay, next up is the Figure It Out top in a wine, available in small through 3X. Um, this is another, like we were just talking about, that peplum top. This is the Figure It Out top. Same material, great for travel, doesn't wrinkle, lightweight, super stretchy and then of course if you guys have seen the figured out top um, or tried one of these before they're super consistent when it comes to that fit and fabric feel and all that jazz so I'm shown in my true size small relaxed fit most people opt to size down one in these so I'm a size 8 shown in the small and it is roomy you can see I have a room here without even stretching so roomy fit 
And then roomy in the midsection, a little bit of a longer line. So you could probably wear this with leggings. Um, I like to do a little front tuck with this. Uh, so it has that nice, you know, cinched in look to it, but you can style it either way. You can do just a little side tuck if you wanted to just pull up one side um, and not do it in the front. So if you are conscious of your belly area, you know, I don't often suggest doing a little side tuck or the pocket tuck, um, but if you're conscious about your belly area and that's what you're like, oh, I can't do a front tuck because I don't want to show that. Doing it on the side, doing just a little side is a good way to cinch it in two and not show your belly that area that we are self-conscious about. That's an area that I am self conscious about especially since I've gained a few pounds um so this is a good way to cover that still but cinch it in some so you don't have quite as much length and it's not as flowy I mean you can even see that just doing that makes it hug my body a little bit more where it doesn't have that flow and oversized kind of look and fit it's in cute yeah like so it is cute to do all that little side tuck you can tuck it in the pocket if you want to not keep it up above you know your pant line you can do it here and then you can also do it through I'm like where is um you can do it through a belt loop too and do a little tuck that keeps it off centered uh so that way I don't even know I can't even really see if I need my glasses um I can't even <laughs> see if I did that right but you did it okay right. so you can do the little um belt loop trick too where you tuck it into the belt loop and that cinches it up some makes it a little bit shorter and adds you know that more finished finished look that we talk about so love this one fabric content not in this one uh fabric content 95 percent polyester five percent spandex and then it just has this really pretty dark wine color background and then this fun floral um with a mix of kind of some white tones a little bit of blues and light blues then your green olive greens some sage green it's just got a really pretty mix of colors on this larger print and i feel like it's a lifelike floral you know some of them sometimes are more drawn and artistic this one it does look more lifelike with that which i think is really pretty so okay i am going to go ahead and change do it oh i didn't talk about my shoes i'm gonna they don't match my next outfit, but I'll talk about my shoes first. Oh, I didn't even know you had them on. I never looked down at your feet. Yeah. I must not have seen you use your shoehorn. You must not have, because I used it. Just look at that. Would you just look at it? Okay, so this is another really pretty blouse. This is the So Much Fun to Be Head blouse, available in small through 3X. Um, and again, with this one, cute little smocked details I'll show you. Um, but a really great print. This is fun because it's a little bit abstract, a little bit floral, kind of a good mix of some different elements on this one and some really great colors. So you've got blacks, you've got the browns and tans. Uh, then you've got this pretty kind of a melon. Flamingo. Grapefruit. Flamingo, I like it's that. Like I like that. Um, and then like a magenta kind of in there. So you have a good mix of colors. What I love about tops like this is you can wear them with brown or you can wear them with black. Um, either way. So I like that you have that ability. So cute little smocked cuff on this one uh, with then just that relaxed fit in the sleeve. Cute little neckline that is, it's kind of ruffled, I guess. Ruffle is what I would say it is. Um, and then that just notched, or, you know, V neckline in the top. And then of course your little ties, they don't do, they don't tighten anything, but you can choose to tie them up top in a, you know, in a bow or a little knot. Uh, I just have them kind of knotted and hanging here in the front. You can just leave them loose and let them hang freely uh, by themselves. So either however you want to style it, it's really cute. Um, nice fit in the shoulders, I would say. Maybe a little broad, but it still, it feels good. Relaxed fit in the sleeve. And then a little bit of a roomier fit here in the body. So I am shown again in the small as a size eight. This is a hundred percent rayon. Uh, so it doesn't have stretch to it. 
So something to keep in mind if you are like, oh, it's roomier than I'd want it and I might want to size down. Um, again, love doing a tuck option with this one to cinch it in. And then I feel like, oh, that solves it. If I felt like it was a little too roomy, this solves that. Um, so I love this print. Like, look at how cute it is. The little details of the polka dots in some of those prints um, and inside of some of the floral. It's just a really cute fun different print. I do believe Christine went out to put this on so she will be back in that. I threw on that very first earring I think that I had on in this pretty light peach color to kind of pull out that tone because this is a little bit more peach than it is nude or tan. A little bit peach undertone to it so that is a cute option. Um, and then I have a new shoe on. Like I said this was not intended to be worn with this outfit. I had it on with the last but let me show you this. This is called the Knox boot little Knox in taupe. Um, and this is fun because it's a patchwork. So it has this patchwork detail to it. Uh, in taupe uh, is the color and it is, it has a mix. So this one feels a little bit more like a suede finish. This one feels more like a leather. Um, and then you have this cute little detail here that has just a wee bit of like metallic shimmer to it. It's not glitter. It just has like a shimmer um, in, I'm like, is it glitter? It's not glitter. There's nothing coming off on my finger, um, but it just has that metallic finish to it. Uh, and then your little snake skin. So it's a cute little mix and just about a one inch heel in this so nothing too high this is a great all day wear boot um and then this whole area on both sides is elastic so it does have like goring in there it's like that elastic so you can stretch it to help you put it on and off a shoehorn helps greatly i was a little nervous when i was like oh <clears throat> I'm sure that this relaxes the more times you put it on and off. Um, but I was, when I went to do it, I'm like, oh, and I grabbed my shoehorn right away. And it was so easy. It was just like right on. So fit wise, I'm an eight and a half and these fit me true to size. Let me back up so you guys can see like height on them. So these hit me just above the ankle, about an inch above the ankle. Um, and again, they aren't snug on my ankle. So I have room. If you have a larger ankle, you should be just fine in these. Uh, wide feet size up half size. And then if you will wear a thicker sock, I mean, I'm very comfortable in the eight and a half in this one. I would not be upset or hurt or they wouldn't be too big if I went up to the nine. I would be okay going off a nine. So this is the Knox new releasing today. It is. It's just a fun one. That patchwork is so fun. And I love even like um, the detailing of the stitch that goes, you know, and patches it together. It's just really cute. So those are new and releasing today. You know, right before the live, when I get my rack ready, I go running through the jean room and I just randomly grab a couple pairs of jeans. <laughs> Are you not satisfied with your choice today? No. You weren't happy last week either. No, I apparently need to plan this better. It's usually like 819 and I'm like, oh my God, I have no jeans. So right now I have a very destroyed boyfriend jean, which is absolutely not what I would pair this with. This is too classy. This is too pretty. So we're going to see in right here. You get to see the whole shirt, but you don't have to see the jeans. How about that? You know what I think we need to do? Random side note. I think after eight years of being in business, it's time that we maybe write a pre-live checklist. What do you think? Is 2024 going to be the year? Weird. <laughs> Let's work on being on time before we add more to do. If we add the checklist, maybe we'll be on time. It's a pretty good idea. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay. Just a suggestion. The Silly suggestion me. box is closed. Silly me. For all of 2024. No <laughs> suggestions to be made. All right. So, you know what I should do is just have a standard pair of jeans I wear. <laughs> That's what I should no, do. No, that won't work. I should just have a rack of my own jeans in the live room. <laughs> One flare, one skinny. Anyway, all right. So a destroyed bleach splatter boyfriend is not what I would wear with this lovely blouse. I am in my true size, the 1X in this brand, and sleeve length is really great. Now I've got a little bit of extra room in the body, not a ton, and this fabric itself does not stretch. I've got a little bit more room in the bust, but some of that has to do with how the um, armhole sleeve drop. So it's giving me a little bit more wiggle room, but again, like not more room to fill it out because this 
fabric itself does not stretch. There's just a slight bit of room to it. I would not size down for any of these reasons. My shoulder seams are in exactly the right place. So for me, I would stay in this size. I would just do a little pocket tuck, just like what Rachel was doing with that figure it out top. If you wanted a little bit more shape to it, if you feel like the body is a little bit too flowy for you, I would do a pocket tuck, I would do a front tuck, but I for sure would stay in the 1X and I for sure would not pair with these Judy Blue Boyfriend jeans. Those are my two for sure's. But yeah, I would stay in the 1X. It would ruin the ambience of the live, Sue. You're right. <laughs> being on time. Being on time, being organized. We they do much better with like chaos. You guys like disheveled. You know what? Sometimes, like, chaos. yeah, sometimes, you know what it is? You guys watch us for a uh, little boost, don't you? For yourselves you just you feel, feel like good. your life is put together <laughs> you're like i love to watch them because it just makes me feel like i'm no not idea what they're doing <laughs> i get it okay <laughs> all right you guys well i don't need the name of this because i know what it is this is the figure it out top in a new color um in a new print so we just had this one on two shirts ago um i should have done them back to back because that would have saved a little bit of time so same fit same details and all that jazz as the previous figured out tops and every other of the 80 figured out tops that we brought in here they are fantastic stretchy lightweight do not wrinkle and such great colorways and prints they're so fun because they ha there has been such a variety in differences in the colors and the prints for the most part we had a couple that were very similar, but where they are just so different that even though it's the same shirt, we have people who get it, they get it again and again and again and again and again in different prints because it is such a good shirt. It's flattering. It's comfortable. It's easy to wash, wear, all the things. So 94% polyester, 6% spandex. We do find that there are those two little differences. I don't know if it has to do with colors in the, in the piece exactly where it's manufactured what but there is sometimes that one percent difference i don't find that it feels any different feels the same so it is just so stinking good this one is the charcoal and burgundy is the colorway if you were looking on the site for it um but i love the colors in this one i still have those peach earrings on i'm finding that these are good they're almost neutral but it, they go with this one so well too so if you're looking at either or that last step i had on it was a good good pairing as well so slightly relaxed stay true to size or size down one off little front tuck in this one it's really so comfortable and good and then i have a new boot on this is the stripey i don't know i just had to google it and i think it's the strippy the strippy uh-huh stripey should have an e in it it should be ey this is an ey no well, the box isn't in here. This is the strippy. Yeah. I don't think I like that. I don't either. Add you can any, call it whatever you want to. Well, we're going to call it the stripey. <laughs> I think it's the strippy. The strippy? Yeah, I just Googled <laughs> it. <laughs> strippy? I just Googled which one has a double P and which one has a P, and it's oh. not strippy. That's strippy. This is S Char. S Char. <laughs> Stra. I P P Y. That's how this is spelled. Stripey, oh, I yeah. just like that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna write out all the boxes and change it to stripey. Yeah, because it has strips of fabric. No, I think it looks like stripes. Some say tomatoes, some say tomatoes. <laughs> Here we I go again. Strips, Here strips. we go again. <laughs> okay, so new boot releasing today. We're gonna call it the strippy stripey. <laughs> And this is a cute one. A nice tall boot. Let me back up so you can see the height of it. Um, again, I'm 5'7", so not quite knee height on me. It might be on some of you. Um, but just a really cute boot. What color is this called? You don't know. Topi. Topi. Topi, whichever you prefer. Taupe. Um, I 
I've loved it though with gray. I feel like it's a good in between. Like mm -hmm. I, th I really liked this combo together earlier today too. And I'm like, it really could go either way. Like you could do it with brown tones or the grays, even it, it pairs nice. Maybe not right next to each other saying they're an exact color match, but it really does when they're separated. There's a little separation. It's a good one. So cute little strips here. And then I had thought that it might be open, like where you could see your jean. It's not, which I actually like better um, because it is completely covered so that you don't have to worry about anything getting in there or catching your foot on this or anything like that. So um, just that cute detail. I don't think that they are going to wear and become relaxed or hang loose or fringy or anything like that. It should just stay like so, but it's a fun detail on the back of these. I love how when you are in them, how they kind of open and close a little bit as you move. So it adds a little bit of depth uh, to the back. So true to size. I'm an yeah, eight and a half. really nice strips. They have really nice stripes. <laughs> uh, run true to size, I'm an eight and a half or nine. I like the eight and a half in these. But again, if I was going to wear a thicker sock, I could go up to the nine without issue. So if you frequently size up, you are safe to size up the half size in these. Uh, it is one, yep, just one working zipper on the one side. The other is a faux zipper. There is a little bit of goring at the top. But, you know, somebody, it, these are a little bit wider calf wise like I can put my whole hand in here your whole hand my whole hand I can put my whole hand in there and I don't have skinny calves by any means so I mean this might be an option for a wider calf as well they are not considered wide calf but they might be an option for you um but they're really cute so again one inch heel on these so nothing crazy these are an all day boot and I love how it does this what is that called do you know the slouch well, over the top is that just what they call it where it's that like double layer. It almost looks like it's a boot cut type of thing. Um, but that's, I just really love that, how it slouches over the front. So these are fantastic in launching today too. All kinds of shoes today. Let's see, what can we find that is called a fold over? I don't fold over. It's called a fold over. Everything that I'm seeing. It's called a fold over. A fold over. Okay, I need these denim ones for my Canadian tuxedos. Boy, yeah, they are really ugly. I can't <laughs> believe they're on sale for just $130. <laughs> okay. Just reading your comment, Kathy. Too much organization causes stress. Too little organization also causes like, yeah, stress. Like, Depends on your personality, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, next up is the at the part tie front hooded pullover. Available in sizes small through 3X. This comes in XL and 1X. Um, I am shown in the small. Uh, so a little bit of a relaxed, oversized fit on this one. Um, I really am comfortable and like this oversized fit, but sizing down is an option. I feel like a lot of people will opt to go down a size for a little bit less oversized look, which is totally up to you and doable, I would say. Traditional sweatshirt material, not fleece lined, but it's that baby French terry, so it has a nice weight to it. And then it has this cute uh, grommet lace up front to detail, which I love anything that has grommets on it. It's like my fave. It's been my favorite for like my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> for real, I think grommets are so fun. Rachel's a list of favorites. And... Rachel has a lot of favorites. One of my favorite words is favorite. Um, but cute little lace of detail. So again, with this one, you can layer something underneath if you want. It doesn't hit very low, so it's not very revealing. But it's just a really good one. And lengthwise, I would say for sure. I think like. It covers my bum fully and the front front fully. So if it was a question, can you wear it with leggings? Yes, I do believe so. Little side slits on the side on this one. Great sleeve length on it. And it does have a little bit of a wider banded cuff here, um, but it, I mean, it's really cute. I like, I like that because it can kind of pull it down on your hand if you like that. I like that. Um, and a hood, of course, so. Fabric content is going to be 95% polyester, 5% spandex. I have a feeling that is the contrast of the cuffs. And then 95% polyester, I'm sorry, 95% cotton, 5% spandex. 
Um, but yeah, extremely comfortable, cute, solid black. So it's a good one that you can pair with a lot of different things. Okay. But now I've got it. Now I've got to look this up. What a spat is. Mom says it's a spat. What's a spat? The foldy over thing on a boot. Why would mom know that? I don't know. What are boot spats? Made of white cloth, gray or brown felt material. Spats buttoned around the ankles. Their intended oh. practical purpose was to protect shoes and socks from mud or rain. Oh. Mm. Is it, mom? Is this the like in the fifties when you were only allowed to wear two outfits a week? And like, so you had to keep your clothes clean and like, you could wash them on Saturday. And so like, you couldn't get your socks dirty. <laughs> in the smart. 50s. She's so, she's smart. <laughs> That wasn't very, that was a very nice, Christine. No, like those things happened after World War II. <laughs> I love you, Mom. I'll apologize for her, Mom. All right, next up is the Feeling Free Tunic Top in gray and pink, available in sizes small through 3X. Um, the Feeling Free Tunic Top is one that we have released as well in other prints, um, right? right? Hmm. Let's see. Um, but this is a dear scarlet piece as well. Same material, wrinkle free, stretchy, uh, 94% polyester, 6% spandex. And this one is really cool. It's just a gray background and a neon. It is very bright neon pink on it. If it looks neon on screen or on the website, it is definitely neon. It's very, very bright. Um, but Relax. This is a boxier fit. You can see that it does kind of dolman in a little bit, uh, but it's not intended to hug the hips. It's meant to still be oversized and roomy. Little half sleeve here. So you have kind of no sleeve, um, but it just drops down into that real, real dolman boxy style top. So this one, Again, size flexing is going to be up to you. If you want to size down, you can. This is just what we, I know every week we say the same thing. When you size down, shorten sleeve length, shorten front length. Those are things that like, again, I'm 5'7". So if you're five foot, you're 5'2", maybe sizing down and losing an inch is beneficial for you. For me, sizing down and if I'm losing any length, I often, I find more than not, I size up to gain length um, because I like more length. If it's a sweater or something, I want more length. So and that's going to be up to you. Um, I think like fit wise, there's stretch in the little sleeve cuff that's on there and roominess. So sizing down is optional um, and up to you if you would like to. It's possible. So again, with this one, really cute to do a little uh, front tuck, half tuck, halfway around. You can do just kind of tuck it in a little bit and leave that back long. But this is a really easy, comfortable style piece. This one makes me so happy. This one makes so Christine so it. happy. It does have hanger straps that have got to go. They've got to go. But I like the neckline on this too. Not quite a boat neck, so it doesn't hit like where your bra straps are, but it does have that little bit more of a wider neckline that I really like. Yeah. So cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna change. Not summer yet, Sue, but we're dreaming. <laughs> but it is a perfect one for summer. It is very lightweight. Yeah, I'd say it's a good, I mean, it's a good one for now too. I mean, it just depends, I guess, where you live. Well, that, or you can always throw a layering shirt under it. Oh Doesn't yeah. It can be a long sleeve, but it could be a layer underneath just to give you a little more warmth if you live in the great white north like, north, like us. North, north, wait, right, north. Or what shoes am I missing? Just the two? Does that look great? I try to put them all in the same place so that uh, I... Let me double check. I know that one. I'm gonna do these both real quick. What time okay. is it? Ugh. I don't really have time. When I do my next outfit change, maybe. So if I can't talk about the face. True to size. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? This is what we got. 
All right, next is happiness awaits oversized cardigan. Oversized cardigans, you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, I was surprised when I'm like, how many cream oversized cardigans could I buy this year for us? A lot, apparently, because I love them. Um, this is a newbie. Oh my gosh, these heels are different heights. This is how ah. people fall over. <laughs> um, so oversized, really comfortable, brand new tonight. So we have had some other oversized cardigans. This one is different. Um, it is a heavier weight, fleece lined, really soft, and just a good go-to. So this is available in sizes small, medium, large, extra large, 1X, 2X, comma, 2X, 3X comma period and it's fantastic so really nice thickness um really pretty color and then has that fun curved hemline i love that on this one nice wide open sleeve so it makes it easy to layer over whatever you want um and of course that drop shoulder nice like gigantic i feel like i could put a two liter in this pocket <laughs> <laughs> how many burritos how many burritos oh look at you guys can see like this is a really big pocket you could for sure put some ma massive things in there so this is a really cute one to store all of your things um but it is very comfortable and it does run roomy again like we are seeing this oversized roomy thing um so size flexing will be an option it is open front so if you would like it to not to be so roomy and oversized you can certainly size down it's going to be totally up to you if you would like to size down so it is not so roomy 70 percent polyester 30 percent cotton it's just superb nice and thick and then the back too i like that back detail with how the what is this called? Like uh, the seams where all the seams go. I don't know. I that, Where's your mom? I don't know. But where all the seams are. I really like that. I don't know where mom is, but mom, I'm not time to chit chat home? with her anymore because we got to get moving here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next up is the By Your Side Paisley sweater. This is also available in the four sizes. Um, I am in the small medium and this is so pretty. This is one that Christine kept saying like, I love that sweater. I need that one. I need that one. Um, so I'm in the small medium. Again, size eight in the small medium. Lots of stretch to this uh, sweater. It is unbelievably soft. Um, and I really like the fit. So it has a slightly relaxed fit, but I wouldn't really say oversized. So I would say stay in what your size range is. Don't size down. Don't size like there's just no need to size flex in this one. If you are that medium or you would be in the small, medium or medium, large, go with the like if you're a medium and you sometimes go up to a large, then go with that one. If you're a medium, but you go to the small other times, like that's where I would stick with. But there are also measurements for these on the site that you can reference. But nice sleeve length on this. Extremely soft. Love this. What color would you call it? Well, Sue said butterscotch. And I think oh, I, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. 74% acrylic, 22% polyester, 4% spandex. And it is so stinking soft for real. Like no layer, no undershirt, no nothing to guard yourself. It's so soft. And then I just love the back as well. That large scale paisley print on here is really cool. Um, I had two new shoes on today. I don't know what the names are. The North park north park in tan uh -huh. and the mara in sand okay so let's talk about the north north park first because we've had this shoe in a different colorway um so this is the north park these are very two different styles to have on at one time, but that's okay. Um, the North Park is a really fun, um, chunkier boot. And I love this one. It is a furry lined on the, I guess I don't have the both on. I can show you this one. Um, it is furry aligned on it. I love that detail. And what's super cute about these is that you can wear them up like so. And they have a little button and a snap closure here or you can fold these down and you can wear it cuffed down and you can wear them, change them out depending on what your outfit is and how you want to style it that way. So you, or that day. So you can do this either way. These run very true to size. I'm an eight and a half or nine. I stick with the eight and a half in these. Either way, it's really stinking cute and comfy. So depending on what pants you have on, depending how casual or your outfit is, you can wear it either way. But I love them styled both ways. I love them up like so or folded down they're so so cute 
So those are launching today in the tan, you said, right? Is this one? Yes. That okay. Kirk is tan. And then the other one you said is the Mara. Mara? Yes. Mara. In in sand. sand. Okay, so this is the Mara. This is a newbie uh, for us. In sand is the colorway. And this is a really pretty boot. It has like an almond shaped front, even maybe ever so slightly more pointed than almond. And then that gorgeous laser cut all the way through. And again, this one all the way through. I mean, all, all over, all about, not through. Because again, on this one, you can't see through it. It's fully lined on the inside, so you can't see through that. Um, goring again at the top to help with a little bit more room in your calf and full zipper length. These feel like a suede, so they're like a suede finish and just a really good neutral. Height wise, I think they're really similar to that last pair, the strippy stripey that I had on. Um, a little bit more snug in the calf. These again, these would not be a wide calf friendly boot, but they're really cute. And true to size, I'm in the eight and a half. This is the size that I would stick with. I'm gonna wear a thicker sock, I would go up to the nine, but otherwise stay true to size. And heel height on these is really good. It's maybe, maybe two inch, I think it's just like a two inch heel. It doesn't, can look real but extremely comfortable and not to very high. So the North Park is actually higher. I can feel as I'm standing here, like wobbling. So both of those are releasing today. Lots of shoesies. Yes, that one is a two-inch. Sorry, it's a few inches. You're okay. Get to that cage. Okay, I'm going to change real quick. We've got a few, few more things to get through, but we are almost, almost in the home stretch here. When I switch to this, do you want to show that other new bag? Yeah. So we can get those out yeah. too. Wait, which one were you pointing at when you show white? When I switched to the pink. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I never looked up to say. What? I acknowledge what I was <laughs> yes. pointing at. Well, I'm glad you're willing to do whatever. Yeah. Kathy, anything that we show on the live, we have here in our warehouse. There, We won't ever show anything clothing-wise, shoe-wise, that is not available here. I don't know that Rachel will cover the details on these. Do yeah, you we can. Time, but but if, I'll pop the comment up. Yeah, they run true to Judy Blue sizing. So everything we've said about jeans, they run true to size. These were previously released as well. So that's just why. Typically, we'll talk about them all, but we are running over on time. So still have others to cover. All right. Next up is the Saw the End Ruffleback Blouse in Mauve. So I don't know what we saw the end of, but... The end of us. Saw the end of something. Saw the end. You probably named it when you were watching Married at First Sight. And I haven't <laughs> seen the end yet. I probably she did. Knows it. You guys, you know, I name all these things based off of shows I'm watching or songs I'm listening to or whatever might apply. Okay. So saw the end ruffle back blouse and mauve available in this one comes in the four sizes, small, medium, medium, large, one X, two X, two X, three X. I'm in the small, medium. And so again, this one, a little bit more of that boxy fit. I only have one shoe on, so we're only going to look at that one. So a little bit more of a boxy style on this one with a cute little drape. So three quarter length sleeve, relaxed fit, drop shoulder, um, has that cute little, just a cute little collar on the front. And then this fun little back detail where it just ruffles in the back. So super easy. True to size would be my recommendation for it to sit where it's supposed to, for everything to stay in place where it is, especially when it has a detail like so of the ruffle on the back. You kind of don't want to like, well, maybe you do want to scooch it up. You can move that around. I think either way um, would be fine. So if you want to size down because you don't do a real oversized fit, I think that you could um, because of the roominess in this. And honestly, this kind of hits me mid bum. So I don't think that it would hurt to go down other than it's going to lift it up a little bit. But this one fabric content is 100% polyester. And yeah, I'm true to size. Just gonna. I mean, if I wore this, I would just like, just, just like, do that all day. yeah, in your strippy boots. Yeah, my. You're <laughs> <laughs> just, just trying to get the dollars. Yeah, we don't. And I was just like shaking my leg. I wasn't twerking. 
That was just shaking my life. Are you Christine. sure? Are, are you positive that isn't how you twerk? I know. I've never tried to twerk. Well, maybe that is all you, they go to dance class and they're like, just shake your legs. <laughs> <laughs> I've I, never tried to twerk. I haven't either, but I'm just saying. Are you sure you that you know. haven't ever tried? I'm positive. It wasn't a thing when I was going to clubs in my 20s. That's like a new, like, last few five years. All right. Raise of hands if you've tried to twerk. Nobody in this Try. room. Try. Oh, I thought you wanted everybody to Yeah, I want them. I want them to, I want them to tell hands. me. <laughs> I want to see your little hands out there. Tried. It doesn't mean that you were good or bad either. <laughs> means that you attempted it. And you could have been alone. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. I just mean nobody here in this room is raising their hand. Oh, no. Nobody here did. No. <laughs> is mom still on? Nobody is raising their hands. I'm... I can't say I'm not... I can't say I'm disappointed. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, okay, next up is the Since Day One Hooded Knit Pullover in Black. Uh, available in small through 3X. This previously released in a khaki. We like some of these pieces, so we bring them in in these great neutrals. If you notice, they're all very neutral. Um, where I'm like, I can't pick. Like, I love khaki and white, and I love black and white. Um, so, which do I pick? Okay, both. Uh, so, this is really nice because this is a sweater knit, but it's one of those lighter weight knits. So, it is nice and stretchy. It's really comfy. It's great for layering. So, when we were talking about, like, layering under a denim jacket um, or under a vest or something like that, this would be a good one to do that with because it's nice, lightweight. So, black with the white stripes little pull strings here that are working um hood on this one and then a slightly relaxed fit with lots of stretch because this is my favorite viscose 50 percent viscose 28 percent polyester and 22 percent nylon so it's extremely soft um it just has a great feel to it it's like a nice solid knit, but lightweight. So it's going to be a good one too if you live somewhere warm or even when you get into springtime and you want that long sleeve layer, but not nothing real heavy, not quite sweatshirt weight, not heavy sweater weight. This is going to be a good one. So no front pocket on this, nice length on it. True to size, I'm showing this small um, with a little bit of a roomier fit, but I would say true to size uh, is a nice with that slightly relaxed fit. If you want it to be more fitted, then size down. But you know what? Probably in this case, like if you want things more fitted and you size down, you're probably sizing down on everything, I would think. Like that's just kind of standard unless it, something runs real fitted already. But really, really cute. And if you don't do black and white, this is available in the khaki and white, which is a great, great option. Great option. All right. Rachel has a Ooh, outfit change. So I am going to show you this new nifty bag. And I was just looking at pictures of it and saw some really cool details that I did not know about before looking at the pictures. So this is called the Upper East Side Vegan Leather Tote Bag. It is available in black cream and brown and i'm gonna go over all of the details and this is super cool i really love this so it is 14 and a half by 15 inches almost a square but that half inch off makes it a rectangle <laughs> <laughs> it detail. is four inches wide and the inside has your two little open pockets right here you know the quick stuff in where you've got like a pair of sunnies and you have your business cards and you have your lip gloss and you have your car keys and you have change and you have bobby pins like these guys that's what's in there it's got two of those on the back it has a zippered pocket so this is where you stuff 11 pens and then every time you need one you don't know where they are but you know that they're in this bag this is where they go to get lost at least this is what i do with my bags and then it has a velcro pouch right here and this is to fit a laptop but here is my favorite feature and this is what i didn't know until i was looking at the pictures all right so you've got a 15 inch handle that makes it a shoulder bag <laughs> look at these little strappies yo backpack so if you're a commuter and you know, larger cities, 
or you're walking or you're in and out of subway stations, trains. I wear a backpack every day here that I throw my purse and my makeup in because I still want my hands accessible to carry my thermos, carry my phone, whatever, but I've got all of my goodies right there. So you have three options with this that you can wear it as a backpack, you can wear it over the shoulder as a shoulder bag, or now this one is not quite as extended as it should be, a crossbody. I've got about 10 more inches that I can extend. So it truly drops down more like a satchel that you can wear this as a long crossbody. But like, how cool is this? And I know that we just got done with gift season, but there's still birthdays. There are still treat yourself. There are all kinds of things that like, this is such a versatile bag that being able to carry it and wear it so many different ways, you can't go wrong. And then it's got this front pouch that also zips and they're just so good. So this is called the Upper East Side Vegan Leather Tote Bag available in black, cream, or brown. And you know what? I'm just going to keep stealing the spotlight while I'm out here. And we have these fabulous Shinola clock pendants from our friends over at Herman Hiss. I went over there today to change our mannequin out. And we're all loving the layering pieces and the different items. And so like, what is cooler than an analog clock? Probably our friends and followers are the only ones that still know how to read analog. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel's kids, I saw Reese struggling with it the other day and like, even a digital was a hard one. So a super cool drop pendant on this long chain. And then these are available silver or gold. We love this because these are from Shinola. Shinola? You say Shinola. I, I say Shinola. And they're from, they're made in Detroit, Michigan. And so we just love little local Michigan company. So available in silver or gold and just a unique piece. I love it. Not a lot of people are going to be able to tell time on it. Layer, like to throw that on as a longer layer. Oh yeah. Rachel had it with her Lola necklaces earlier and had them layered three at a time. And so these are Shinola clock pendants and they're available on Herman his You know what? I think it's a really pretty way too to still pull like the traditional analog, right? Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. The analog clock um, out because so many of us wear, you know, wear a smartwatch that like wearing an actual analog watch is not something that we really do, but it's cute to do that in the form of a necklace or something else. Um, so yeah, <coughs> super cute. Uh, that one looks like it is only one length. Yes, it is just But I would say, length. you know, that would be a question too for at Herman Hiss. I am, I can't you say I'm certain. I would think that you could what? probably have links taken Link, out. Have links show taken them the out. Way that it's connected. Oh yeah, yeah. I would think that that would be something if you wanted it to be a different length. Um, that it has this cute little pull through. That's how you put it on. I don't know what you call that type of end, but a toggle. A toggle, a little toggle end. Um, okay. I'm getting you comments. I just sat back down. I'm getting you comments. Oh, thanks for bringing me pineapple. You're welcome. Oh, my comment is there. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Next up is the Love You Always plaid button down available in small through 2X. So this one released last week with our Valentine's collection. Um, but we wanted to bring it out today with these, this fun little pink combo because we've got some new pants. So this is a fun way to keep this outfit girly. Um, and you know, I even like, I put it and I'm like, oh, are the pinks the same? But they are. Wherever the bleach splatter is, the pinks are the same as the pants, but you get a whole lot of different shades of pink in this top. It's like 50 shades of pink right here. So cute, <laughs> cute little details on this button down. This one's very true to size. I'm showing my true size small. Um, and I would say stay true to size in this one. 
And like I said, we covered this last week in more detail. It's a really cute layer over a graphic tee for Valentine's Day or just for any time um, to layer it over. So we kept this a real fun kind of Barbie pink girly outfit by layering it over this meet at our spot top in off-white, which has the fun little rhinestone details all over, not all over, but on the front of the top. So this little top is available in white and in black. I obviously have the white one on uh, <laughs> with a little kind of short drop shoulder sleeve on it. So it's not real long. It makes it nice for layering if you did want to put it over underneath a cardigan or a button down or something like that. And I'm showing my true size small, slight boxy fit on this one. So if you're in between sizes, we have had people opt to size down so that it's a little bit more fitted for tucking in purposes and that type of thing, but otherwise stay true to size on it. Fabric content on this top is 100% cotton and it is available on our website. And we have some new pants. What? Um, what are you wearing? Some new pants, some new Judy Blues. These are, just waiting for my comment, so I say it right. <laughs> Still other. There we go. Uh, the Judy Blue Pink Straight Leg Cargo Jeans. These are releasing today for the very first time, but are in good timing for February. Holly that works here said she is wearing these every day of February. <laughs> she said they are going to be her February pants. So while Christine has a dress for the rest of January, yes. Holly <laughs> has her February pants. It was very funny when Christine said that because they were not in the room together. I don't believe when Holly claimed these as her February pants. So um, these have a 12 inch rise. So that is a high rise. They are hitting natural waistline and then a 32 inch inseam on them. So a really nice length. Again, I'm 5'7 for reference. Um, so they have a good length on them, but also can be hemmed uh, if you'd like. So cargo wise, these have a seam down the front and then also have the little cargo pockets here on the side that are, I'm like, they are working. Yes, do they have they the are. hammer sling? They do not have the oh, hammer gosh. sling. No gosh. hammer sling on these. So no, these are not carpenter pants. <laughs> they are cargo pants, Christine. Oh, thank you. You are welcome. Thank you. Um, so cute little pocket on the side with a gold button. And then these have more of your trouser style pocket on the side versus a jean pocket on them, a denim jean. And little buttons or little pockets with button flaps on them. Cute. And these are working pockets as well. So these are very stretchy. I'm in my true size 728. Uh, this is the size I would stay in for the intended fit up top. Now remember they're high waisted. Now I still have the room that I normally would in a J blue, whether it sits here or here, I always have that same amount of room, but I would say stay true to size, even though they are stretchy, uh, cause you don't want them to be too snug up top and then feel like you're muffin topping over them and have them be tight and creeping up more towards your rib, ca rib cage than they're already supposed to be with a 12 inch rise. But these are fantastic. They are so cute um, and just, just fantastic. They're fabulous. Yes, they surely are. So I'm going to pair these uh, real quick with a couple of different things just to show you how you can style them differently. Sometimes with colored pants, it gets a little complicated. Like, are we limited with them? To not with only... these colors. Not with these. But sometimes there's a fear. Can I wear those with a black shirt or a white shirt or one shirt that I buy? And these are fun because you can wear them with a lot. And I'm not doing shoe changes just, again, for the sake of time. Um, but this is a cute way to do something that's multicolored with the cargo pants. So this is a new sweater we are releasing today. It is kind of that, like, popcorn knit that looser feel it's fantastic this is the feel alive again sweater my watch is talking to me the feel alive again sweater available in four sizes small medium medium large 1x 2x and 2x 3x so i am in the small medium and this is definitely oversized so an oversized roomy fit um and nice sleeve length on this but again roomy a little bit more of an open neck. So this would be one you could pair with a, you know, crew neck tee underneath if you wanted to cover up some more. I don't have it layered over anything as in tank wise cami or anything like that. Um, it's non sheer. So it is like double layered. Um, so it's not sheer and you can't see through it. But this would be one if you wanted 
to have more coverage or something, you could choose a different top to layer underneath it, but relaxed fit. So size flexing is possible if you would like. And with this one too, I love the idea of doing a little like front tuck to kind of show your jeans off a little bit more and not have your top be over powering sometimes with a wide leg a wider leg now these are a straight leg they're not super wide but sometimes with anything that's not real fitted then an oversized sweater feels too big um you know or like you're just wearing this really big oversized outfit combo so doing a little front top kind of helps with that so pretty sweater here you guys it is so soft um and i love all those the mix of colors that you get in this one a little bit of a retro vibe i feel like with that yellow and green together um this is 70 percent polyester and 30 percent acrylic it's fabric content but so soft love it um <sighs> I am gonna need them. Yeah, sometimes I like to write Rachel love notes behind the camera and see how she reacts to me. <laughs> That's not very nice always. They were really nice. I don't think so. They were really very nice. Okay. She draws me things like middle fingers and I have never mastered that. <laughs> Oh, she's writing something else. You guys, I got glasses this week. They're cute. But I can't wear them on the live because you will see all these ring lights. But I can read Christine's signs a little better with them on. <laughs> um, okay, last up, last but not least, the trying again top in charcoal and pink. This is available in sizes small through 3X. So this is another way that you can style this. Um, and I wanted to throw them on with a different shoe. I liked the Harley in gray. I like the gray tone of that Harley better. That's getting real picky, but I did. Um, I like the Harley in this one with this one because the grays were a little bit more oh, alike. So, so this is another way that you can style these pants a little bit more casual. Um, you know, or not casual, but just style them differently than with this sweater because this sweater was still a casual look. But this is a cute option. So, um, this. Like I said, the trying again top available in small through 3X. Super soft, fleecy like feel. It is fantastic. Nice stretch. And then it's great. And it's almost like it's a leopard print, but then it's almost more like it's just a ditzy dot. So it's a kind of, I can't really say that it's leopard, but it's just a cute one. Um, and it is so soft. Little side slits. I am shown in the small with a relaxed fit. So this one sizing down would be optional if you want it to be a little bit more fitted. If you stay true to size and it was a little bit bigger or even sized up one, you become more tunic like that you could wear with leggings. So size flexing on some of these items again up to you depending on how you want the fit to be but this one is a really cute one too to wear with a legging um if you'd be comfortable with it but I love it with this pink because it is a perfect color match and then doing the little uh gray slip on for something you know kind of uh more neutral in tone I don't know where Christine just left to but she has left the building no, she <laughs> oh she hasn't she's here so just a really cute, another way to style this, another option. Oh, I just tucked this shirt into, into, into my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> this one too, though, you can do a little, little belt loop tuck. Just kind of cinch in that one side, make it a little slimmer in the front. But these new Judy Blues um, are just fantastic. We've had several people actually already ask if we were going to be getting them because they have seen them starting to pop up and they arrived today. So here they are, true to Judy Blue sizing. So rule of thumb, I'm a size 8. I wear a size 7 in Judy Blues. That is what I would do in these. And I would recommend the same for you across the board um, on whatever size that you do. So you guys have questions post live please let us know just know that we are we do get a little bogged down right after the live with getting some work done so if you have um immediate questions there might be a slight delay and right after a live while we're getting some stuff taken care of but we will follow up as soon as we can thank you for spending your wednesday with us again we appreciate you and love you and happy shopping good night happy shopping